it was like a rugby seven like official game. I used to be doing New Zealand All Blacks. Of course. I was a real beater, man. New Zealand All Blacks. Who, that's who the else team. can you beat? Because that's what they were, All Black. The New Zealand All Blacks. The team was All Black? They, no, they're all, all Black. They just wear All Black. Uh, somehow that still sounds racist. Not everything's racist, King. Man. Nah. I don't think someone was They're racist. not trying to appropriate your color. Yeah. Hilarious. Okay. Hey. You know black is a color, right? It's actually not a color, it's a shade, but that's uh, it's actually Yeah, there we go. It's actually Wait, it's a what? The presence of all colors. The presence of all colors? It's actually the, the absence, of mm-hmm. absence of color white. white. The absence of color. Mm. There's a word in there. What? It's, it's knowledge in there. Oh, I thought you were mm. gonna say spectrum. Mm. Howdy do everybody. <laughs> This is not that serious podcast. Also known as, colloquially known as, the best podcast in the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am one of your hosts, uh, Big Michael. It's Cheddar Bob. <laughs> <laughs> what? I got it. <laughs> yeah. DJ it's- Cripple. Mm-hmm. It's too easy. <laughs> Someone said that on live yesterday. <laughs> Ken is in the building. Lamont, aka Doctor Waffle. MJ. Intern homie Quan. Yeah. And, and Big Q. <laughs> in the back. Yep. <laughs> so, Mike, you sound really down after those. <laughs> ch- yeah. Like those chips Yo, took all of you. The Eagles won. The Sixers won. Like, what are you doing? The chips just took all the way down. The I had <laughs> an a great. All week, his love for week week for week. life. <laughs> they took it. Took, they took it all from me, bro. It was this so in a matter of thirty minutes. <laughs> nasty, bro. They, it, it's like when the <laughs> Fire Nation attacked. Everything changed. <laughs> Everything changed. <laughs> Everything changed when the. Gar- Doritos attacked. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, they were nasty. How oh, much my. would I have to pay you to? You had to eat those with every meal. For how long? For a day? For a year? A year? Mm-hmm. I was a gonna year? Say, I was gonna say ten days. A year? A year? A year? You have to finish a bag every day. One bag a day mm-hmm. for a year. You have to pay off my student loans easily. Okay. At least. Exactly. At least seventy thousand, eighty. How much you got left? It's only thirty. Okay. Like you, had int- you had an interest in that, yeah. So it might, it might need. I might need something else on top of that. Honestly, I was gonna say, yeah, you know. Yeah. But I mean, they're not getting any money in no time soon anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <that's a> <laughs> my is up, my <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you already know. Let's get through the familiars. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure you follow us on all platforms, podcast platforms, wherever you get your podcast, whether that be Spotify and Apple Podcasts and the other ones. Uh, make sure you go there and find us. Not that Radio. Series podcast. Yep. Amazon Music. Yeah. The, 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 oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, really? Wow. Okay. Um, make sure you follow us on all socials at the NTS Pod on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok and the like. Uh, make sure you join the Twitter community on uh, on Twitter. Yeah, uh, at NTS gang there. Make sure you show the you can join the Discord as well. Mm-hmm. Um, lots of fun things happening over there. Um, subscribe to the YouTube. YouTube, we're trying to we're closing in on that 10k. We're getting closer and closer. We're trying to hit that 10k. We just inching there. We just inch just just, just give us mm-hmm. a little push that we need. To get to the promised land, yeah. okay. <laughs> tell get, one friend to tell one yeah. friend to tell another friend. Just keep making those fake accounts. Yeah, just keep spamming fake <laughs> accounts. Get those Russian bots cranked out. We mm-hmm. need those. We need those bloated numbers. Because <laughs> that don't worry about that. Because we need those bloated numbers to give to our paymasters over there at Spreaker and the Spreaker and iHeartRadio. Shout out to them, uh, the Caucasians over there. Um, <laughs> I want a YouTube play button. Yeah. Huh? I want the little button, the little plaques yeah. that you gave me when you hit it, milestones. 
Yeah. Well, I do only, so I mean, was, there's, I, there's, I think the first one's at 100k. There's a long yeah, way to go. We're, we're yeah, not, yeah, so subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> We can get there, Brad. Don't, don't. We, 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 can, we can, can do it. We can get there. Don't, we can do don't it. Don't chop us at you the stump. You know where you want to hit 100K? On Patreon. Yeah, that, nah, so that's that. Now, now that. Now that. <laughs> now that will make me stop doing everything. Yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to each 100K of you individually. <laughs> Kiss you on the cheek. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Okay. Mwah, little okay. paymaster baby. Mwah. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> So three, five, fifteen out of tears on Patreon. Um, extra content to you there. You get uh, such perks such as uh, episodes a day early, episodes with no, with no, with no ads. You get extra content. You get priority questions answered. You get mm-hmm. access to uh, exclusive uh, things that we do like merch or when those times come. Mm-hmm. You get priority there. We treat you. A little better than the other peasants. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. When you get your little 12 dusty quarters together every 30 days or so, these are the things that you can look forward to. Mm-hmm. Okay? Um, so get, go on Patreon.com, the best website in the world, <laughs> and then you look up, look for us and subscribe. Preferably to the most highest tier available, which is $15. What I mean? Listen. You pay Paramount Plus. If you want to do five, I'm good with that. You, I'll take. You three. can do any of them. You can do, you can do any of them. Not just your arm, you know. You I'm not good. Listen, I'll hold you. If you just want to support and give us a dollar, I'll take. It. Yo, yo, you got a you got a bean, a bean. Listen, do what you do what you got. You know what I'm saying? We're doing all those things. Hey man, uh-huh. um, fifteen dollars a month. What's that? Uh, one Chick Fil A. One time you don't go to Chick Fil A. Out the month. I wouldn't do it, that's, but you that's, should. <laughs> that's a little heavy for me. I, I, would, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I do the five dollars myself. So. Nah, I'm, a, nah, I'm a real beater, man. I got fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars a month, man. Yeah. I get the five. Do the five so I can get the large fry. But you know that's you. Um, maybe you love us more than I do. Um, yeah. I, what else? P.O. Box. Number 276 in Burlington, New Jersey. Zip code 08016. Send us all types of fun stuff there. You got nasty snacks you want us to try? Send us there. You got wheat? Send us there. Send some you got anything? Chickens. You got. Uh, no, don't cool. send us chickens. <laughs> send us chicks. Do not yeah, send, send, chicks. send baby chicks. <laughs> Keenan, I, I, Keenan, I, I, I'm going to let you know this now. Keenan will raise I, them. I am going to let <laughs> you know this now. <laughs> Anybody who says that they want these chickens, if we get to order chickens, I'm going to make sure I drop half of them to each person that said they wanted them. So you'll get a box. That's fine. You'll get a box. Chicken nuggets. Oh, I'm an animal. I'll throw them bitches in the river <laughs> and watch them drown for fun. Okay, that's a little extreme. <laughs> They're not going to drown. They're just... They won't make it. <laughs> I don't think they will. I don't know what chicks He won't do it. He won't do it. <laughs> that, that really- Watch the no, bubble. Okay. Mike won't do that. He'll, he'll just leave him outside. <laughs> Mike's just gonna leave him outside. He like they'll, yeah. they'll freeze to death. Yeah. I, I think a, a, bird, a bird will get him. Mm, that's yeah. gonna swim. You think you can kill something? Huh? You can kill something? Yeah. All right. You wouldn't. Put, put, I didn't tell you about that dude in the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to the test. That dude. That what dude test are you gonna put me to? You can kill an animal. See if you kill an animal. Something more than an insect. What 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 test are you gonna put me to? You gonna go hunting? What? I'm about to go biblical on him? About to yeah. test the boy? I, I killed a mouse in my house. I barely wouldn't do that. I'll kill hella centipedes. No, nah, I would kill a mouse. Like, did y'all see the video I set with the dude that was shooting the, uh, the mice in the basement? Oh, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I the, would do that. Smelling for the cheddar? <laughs> <laughs> I could definitely kill pests like rats. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. But a chicken's not a pest. It's I a- mean, to me, at that point in time, because <laughs> what the fuck would do with baby chicks? Mm. You ask for them. No, nah, I would just probably give them to like a farm or some shit. There's so many. That's farms. a smart thing. There's mad farms around. Here. I, I was say just, we are in. in I would just find a farm and give them. I go to Johnson's. Johnson's yeah. farm. Here's some chicks. Yeah, here's here some chicks, bro. We don't do that here. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You you do you, it more than I do. Yeah, you know a little bit more than I would. Well, you do now. Yeah, mm-hmm. it'll be all right. Wait, mate. You ain't killing nothing. You can no, animals. No, I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are. MJ be skinning raccoons. These are jokes. <laughs> How crazy are you? <laughs> As he's rubbing a fucking dull knife. How crazy. 
<laughs> you want to know how I got these scars? You're not a real murderer. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, so the P.O. Box. Yeah, send stuff there. Yeah. Um, do we got anything on the particular? Nothing particular. Oh, yeah. Thanks for everybody who came out. For- oh, yeah. man. Let's yeah, do let's that, that real quick. Yep. Yeah, so we tailgated, man. We did the tailgate. Uh, yesterday, I mean, it's Monday as we're recording, so yesterday that'll been the 26th. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We were tailgating at the Lincoln Financial Field for the Eagles Bills games. It was a, as was Keenan would describe it, a grand old time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Until it started raining. But even, we still, yeah. we, we still it was vibing still fun out even there. Even with the rain, but without the rain, it was perfect. Even with yeah. the rain, it was cool. Yeah. Like, um, shout out to everybody that came through. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that bought merch. We sold out of everything. Um, Kiara and company to shout out to John. Yeah, pulled up. Yes, shout out to everybody that pulled up, took the time to come out see us because I know it's not, especially you didn't have a parking pass. I know it was a little bit of a journey to even come down and then find park and then walk over to where we was at and take that time and <laughs> what MJ. <laughs> <laughs> what are you curmudgeoning about now? <laughs> he's literally curmudgeoning. That is exactly <laughs> uh, uh, what he's doing. He's over here like, uh, bug. <laughs> it's not that hard. It's not that hard. <laughs> What's a fine? Like you need a parking pass. No, you didn't need a parking You don't need pass. a parking pass. Yeah, but then you got to find. Park there. You have to find uh, somewhere to park and if then you, walk over. I'll put it like this. Not- if you've never been there, yes, it's hard to do. Because you don't know <laughs> yeah, what's going on. Because when I went for the first tailgate where Elsie was, mm. I had to pay and park in another lot, which wasn't far, but yeah. I just had no idea like where what the situation it's hard, was. It's hard to navigate if you've never been there. Yeah. But MJ, you've lived in Philly. It's a hassle <laughs> You're that they Philly didn't have the to do. So it's easy for you. Right. <laughs> they didn't have to do that. They could have stayed home. Yeah. yeah. But they went through all of that. I'm talking to about hang you, out nigga. With us. Even so, you don't go there either. I don't yeah, go there. I'm about to say, Mike don't go Mike don't so, go there. <laughs> again. That was the first time Mike was in that lot. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, definitely, <laughs> especially behind the wheel. <laughs> Mike drove there. Yeah, I Mike drove, drove you know there. It's important. Have you, have you ever been inside of any of those arenas? I've been in those arenas, but I've never driven there. I've never. Okay. I've been, been riding with people. I know you've been to. The, well, we went to Wells Fargo together. Did you go to the Sickles game? Yeah. We, we we went to the uh, the practice John. Oh, that was oh, that was mad long ago. That was like, yeah, but we have yeah. Which right, yeah. contract here? That's yeah. how long ago that yeah. was. Oh right, yeah, we was there. Yeah, that was a long time ago. But yeah. Back in those dumb, optimistic days. Yeah. You've never been to a Phillies game? Not since the field trip. All right, so you've been in all of them then? Yeah. I've been was, this, was that that was the stadium then? I guess it was. Yeah, I think so. Hey, we, we went to a Phillies game for a field trip. I thought we saw the Trenton Thunder. That was sixth grade when we, sh- we that year we were supposed to go to Hershey Park. <laughs> but then we going up to a dusty-ass, hot-ass, sticky-ass <laughs> Philly, Phillies game. Ew. Nah. Yuck. You don't remember that? No. I'm still mad about that. <laughs> no. 20 years later. We were supposed to go to Hershey Park, but then we watched. You know what's better than chocolate? Pat Burrow. Fucking baseball. Pat Burrow. Yeah. It's <laughs> my dog. The I place where uh, Pete Rose used to play. Ooh. Ooh. The house that Pete built. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Where he accrued all those gambling debts. He was that dog, though. Yeah. He was yeah. dog. I wish I was banned from the sport like he is. <laughs> Mm. Fair. Fair <laughs> and I think we didn't go because a teacher couldn't go. A teacher didn't want like a chap. Somebody didn't want to. It was some the right numbers. Yeah, we didn't go to fucking shit. Hershey Park because one bitch didn't want to go. No, Damn. I'm not. Not Hershey. But might be Dorney Park. One of them parks. It doesn't. Either matter. way, m- way <laughs> infinitely more fun than a baseball game at what twelve? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Yeah. <laughs> And we were high up. There was no good seat. We were in the fucking nosebleeds. And it was uh, unbearably hot. And it's fucking baseball. And on top of that, it's and fucking you can't baseball. Drink. <laughs> and you can't drink because you're, you're 12. 12. Yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't partake in the one thing that makes going to a baseball game bearable. Yeah. Which is the alcohol. <laughs> And if mm-hmm. you had parents like mine, your parents only going to send you there with ten dollars, so which you can't is get nothing from the concession <laughs> stand. <laughs> you can lick a lollipop for ten dollars at the big. I'm over there eating a hot, a hot lunchable. Oh, <laughs> a, hot, a hot ham and cheese. Oh, with the crackers, the ham and cheese. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Okay. They don't let the condensation from the Capri Sun get the crackers. Now you got moist uh, crackers. Got moist crackers. Oh, God, <laughs> used to hate those days. Fucking Monty making your own matzo ball soup. Huh. Or you make the little pizza. 
Yeah. A little thin crust going. Looking back, those pizzas were not They weren't good. even good. It oh, wasn't no, even pizza. No, it no. was about the allure. Like, yeah. damn, I got And you got pizza. the little sauce in that little bag. You just kind of like. Did you ever got... microwave those pizzas? I don't no, know. I was never around <laughs> the microwave when I I didn't ate. have time. Microwave those oh, pizzas? Sh- You're you know, supposed to. I was You're supposed business. to microwave those pizzas? Yeah, it said on the, it apparently. Said, it said on the package that you were supposed to microwave them. Bro, but I, 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 I gotta I, get Apparently, it. a lot of people didn't microwave those no, pizzas. No, I feel like you're a freak for doing it, actually. Yeah, yeah honestly. I'm, I'm not a kid. Ass nigga. I'm, I'm not never microwaving them, Jones. The point of a Lunchable is supposed to be made hey, a little listen, time. Don't, yeah. don't, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I was just having a hot lunchable. That's all I'm saying. I ain't never had a hot lunchable. That's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. You put yours in the microwave. That's yeah. what you're saying. The whole like, or just the p- little pizza? Ah. Yeah, just the pizza on a little napkin. Yeah. Never ever. Ah, I yeah. It. And it tasted good. It tasted like something. I guess your cheese was melted, so it's better. Yeah, cheese. You got the, pep- the cheese, cheese metal on the pepperoni. You did that? No, I don't. It's just nasty. No. <laughs> I mean, the worst ones was a little hot dog Jones. If you, hot dog. If you had a hot dog oh, lunchable, yeah. your parents hated you. Those I were remember sick. those. I was. I would had those at the store, uh, and mm-hmm. I'd be like, "What?" You get two hot dogs inside the mm-hmm. Jones. If your parents bought you those, oh, they hated you. Were there burger ones too? Yes. What? Yes, yes. there were. There was Yo, burger mini hot dogs. Dog some diabolical shit going on in the Holy days, shit, bro! And it came with a Kit Kat. I was like, why are we eating? What the fuck? Hold on. I got to see the burger one. Yeah, no. All-star hot dog. Bro, my yes. parents my parents bought that once. I was like, I asked them, please don't ever buy this again. Bro, I'll take this a is peanut horrible. butter jelly, please. Mini this burgers. Bro, what the fuck? Uh, Wait, I never had the burger. It. The all-star burgers from Lunchables. Yeah, clearly this is before the Obama administration. Oh, yeah. Michelle would have got that shit. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> You kidding me? Two whole oh, grain nah. hamburger buns, oh, my two goodness. grilled patties, Kraft American grilled. cheese, <laughs> ketchup with starch. I do, I do, oh, that's mustard, chocolate, uh, milk chocolate candy balls. Hmm. Lunchables Cola later changed to Capri Sun. Oh yeah, they did used to have soda in there. They had soda in Lunchables. They did. Yeah, they had the little I soda Jones. Mm-hmm. You get a shot of soda with your Lunchable. <laughs> 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 Mm. Go on. <laughs> wash it down real quick. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> that Go was on. good. Yeah, mm. yeah. Work, I remember the tacos. Uh, there was I never got to get any of this. I would just see. What it was the like, uh, the 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 blue package? It wasn't Lunchables. It was the one with the penguin on it. Mm. Kids cuisine. Kid cuisine. Oh, kid, kid cuisine. cuisine. The little Those nuggets good. with the little brownie. Yeah. And the, Those brownies the were horrible. The, the fucking rubber hey, mac and man. cheese. Those brownies was horrible, bro. That was something to look forward to, man. Yeah. It was Those were good. It was one of those things like you were kids like ah it's here I'm 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 gonna eat it yeah it's more about the idea than the actual execution as a kid like I'll, I'll probably take those over a cosmic brownie though I wasn't the, the, the mac and cheese and those were weren't good though mm. no it's not supposed to be <laughs> <laughs> the, all yeah, of it and all of those weren't good <laughs> none of the food that usually comes in a, <laughs> yeah no it's not supposed to be frozen it's it's it, here's a hint if the food comes with a plastic film on top you're probably not gonna be in for a good time. This mm-hmm. one's called Kid Cuisine Level Up. It's cheese quesadillas with vanilla, with vanilla wafers oh. and chocolate dipping sauce. I don't know if I would dip huh? vanilla wafers and chocolate dipping sauce, but they... <laughs> On top of a cheese quesadilla? Wait, <laughs> You're wait. shit. Thank you, little shit babies and shit. Pooping. <laughs> a level up. They had <laughs> called a kick was level up. A frozen. <laughs> and it wasn't a penguin, it was an astronaut on there. Nah. <laughs> nigga, nigga, that's level up the gastrointestinitis, nigga. <laughs> nah, that's you leveling up to wet wipes because you know it's gonna be a messy situation. You ain't just using rest of tissue paper for that. Oh, wait. That equals the dookies. <laughs> Why do you have to heat up a quesadilla? Oh, can't you just make a quesadilla? It's the easiest thing to oh, make. Oh no. A cold quesadilla though? No, I'm saying you can make a quesadilla. Oh, That's yeah. for the I mean, lazy, lazy parent. Like the yeah. laziest parent possible. Yeah. You could have made any of these shits, but it's just, here you go, package. These are crazy. Tripping. Hungry man's are good, Mike. I don't know what you're talking about. Hungry man? I mean, hungry man's oh, I didn't mind hungry frozen man's. dinners have come a long way. I can say that. I haven't had a frozen dinner in years, so I can't tell you what. Yeah, actually, what people dinners were good. Oh, that's a lot. A frozen dinner has been a long time. Yeah, oh, we, yeah my family, we used to have these little yeah. hot dinners. Dang. Definitely. Nah. Or the Salisbury steak in like, a little tray. Be, I. used to be $1.50. $2. Yeah. You didn't like Salisbury steak? Bro, we like used to eat it right so now. much. Bro. Salisbury steak is banging, bro. We used to eat them shit so much. I don't. I never want a Salisbury steak again. Now that's a lazy meal, right? Yeah, there. I had a Salisbury. Yeah, we used to have Salisbury steak, hungry man. And the thing is, it would be the same meal every time. It'd be Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes, what, and either steak? corn or string beans. Hungry man, how much is a hungry man today? 
every I time. Said, and it, every and, time. And every time. <laughs> no, fuck that shit. Sometimes I don't want you it. substitute the mashed potatoes for rice. No, yeah. I, well, I, I don't even have mashed potatoes every time. Mm-mm. Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes are a very with the corn, yeah, bro. Combination. That's nah. a lot of elite. Nah. Yeah, I wouldn't say elite. Yeah, no, nah, it's elite. We already established elite it. in the G League. His family still playing bas- basketball cuisine. Still balling. <laughs> sure, but you still got a nine to five after that. No. Yes, <laughs> it's the G League, not the WNBA. Can yeah, the, oh. the WNBA making making more than G League niggas. Oh, <laughs> they're making more than the G League people, Michael. Yes. I, I'm not saying nope. anything. <laughs> I didn't say a word. I think those are fine, fine ladies, mm-hmm. and they work hard every day for the 90 days the season's on, and they, they practice really hard, and they do what they do. I, res- I respect the hell out of their game. <laughs> <laughs> I support I the WNBA. Who would have thought? Mm. They're good would I suggest some improvements? Of sure. Course. You can All do that with every league. league. Yes. <laughs> every league can improve. Yeah. Every league. Yeah. Improve. Mm. All leagues can improve. All leagues can, All leagues can improve. Yes. But one, one, some need help more than others. Sure. sure. But I respect the hell out of those ladies. Those gals get right to it. Hard nose. Mm-hmm. That one girl that plays for the uh, no, that you, she, you, she's in college. Never mind. Uh, no, nah, there's one girl. Uh, she's French. Is she on the? Uh, she's not on Liberty. <laughs> no, nah, some chick they call Kyrie Irving, but she, she's in college. It's, oh no, no, no. She's, I think she's African. She, uh, she plays for South Carolina, I believe. Uh, I've seen it. There's the a girl. I'm about to say there's a girl for South Carolina and there's a girl for USC right now, and they're both. I one seen and the, two Like 1A, 1B one. I seen the chick Come up the court Like Slash And did a move Where she just put The fucking ball Behind her back Real smooth mm-hmm. And laid it out yeah, like, for, uh, From South Carolina That's pretty yeah, damn that's cool The girl I'm thinking of though his name, Her name is Maureen Joannis She's no like that She's French And literally I'm talking step back She shot a three Off one leg Leaning to the left In a game like all net boop. And it's a shame. Mm. That shit was crazy. She's nice. Mm. There's a couple a uh, couple women like that that can shoot for real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll but she's different. Mm-hmm. Keenan will be on the lookout. Mm-hmm. Hey, listen, I I respect it. I I'm a fan. I, I'm a fan of the game first. I'm a I'm a late, I'm a Las Vegas Aces fan. Oh uh, yeah, look at you front running. Bitch. Well, I like the Aces when we had Liz Cambage, so Shout out to Liz Cambage, man. Really? Not shot at me. I don't think we're shot at sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. No, let's not shot at sure? I don't think we're just shot at Yeah, you're right. She's <laughs> racist. She is racist. <laughs> she, huh? She like called like the uh, Afri- she played like internationals. Yeah. And she called like the Nigerian team like monkeys or some shit like that. Yeah, like literally while playing with them. And yeah. then after that, she was like, "Oh, they want me to play for Nigeria." And then the Nigerian players were like, "No, the fuck, we don't." Like nobody asked you that. Liz is weird. Yeah. Liz is weird. She's um. Very full of herself. Say it is what it is. Like, you ain't, you ain't that nice, huh? She's light skinned though, so yeah, she can be racist. Mm-hmm. She's color she's colors. She has a superiority complex. She definitely has a superiority that. complex. I'll say that. Well, she's superior. See her body. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so thanks to everybody <laughs> that whiz, came out to the whiz. Okay. <laughs> to, the, to the tailgate. <laughs> 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 The burn after rolling, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that just came out naturally. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so yeah, shout out to everybody that came out, man. We really appreciate it. Um, it was our first uh, like really like event event, and um, yeah, man, yeah. very good, good time. Do one next year when it's warmer. Yes, yeah, yeah, warmer. early in the season. It's gonna be a September game for sure. For <laughs> motherfucking sure. Yeah. Once it hits October, don't expect this out there. And maybe October, a, maybe, maybe a Dallas game. October is a good month for it. Yeah, I thought we'd be fun. And maybe definitely, whatever it is, it's definitely not November. And we're gonna have our own. If fireworks. we would have did it early in November, we would have been fine. I don't want fireworks. Nah, we gotta have fireworks because the niggas behind us had fireworks no. and they were they going were crazy. <laughs> yeah, they were bugging the fuck out. <laughs> See how annoying they were, though. I don't want to be that annoying. 
Nah, it's like a nah. It's, no, nah, when you're, when you're, it's I don't fun have when it's you. I don't no, have any not. fun. It's, it's fun when it's you. Nah. I am thirty I'm now. Nervous. I don't need fireworks. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, fireworks. Yeah, put it on. Put it on the card. It's gonna spell out words. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> NTS podcast. <laughs> I can hear, I can that feel my anxiety hard. right now. Let's Listen, just, I had enough anxiety driving I mean, through the motherfucker. I don't need the fireworks. Is, the fucking stadium has fireworks. Yeah, there's like, fireworks everywhere. Yeah, they're the stadium with pyrotechnic professionals. Yeah. Not six jackals. They got Q and baby Q. They got <laughs> six jackals. <laughs> nigga said the stadium has it. Like, nigga, <laughs> that's their job job. See, look, oh, y'all had a firework thing fall over? That happened to you too, Q? Is it to you too? Oh, that's we why you don't want fireworks? Over there. Oh, about it. niggas over there dodging fireworks. Niggas, <laughs> niggas are fireworks stories. I, Me yeah. personally, I told you, I don't even like fire, but I'll get some fireworks. I haven't had a good enough firework story no. yet. What did y'all do? Asking Q can't even talk. Yeah. Bro, we had I can't a, even talk. At one of the uh, family cookouts, we always had like fireworks. Yeah. And I, it might have been the last year that we did it because of this. So we had the fireworks, you know, like all the little normal sparklers, the little stuff. And then the last thing was this thing called the box. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it was just like a box of fireworks. <laughs> and it's supposed to be the grand finale. And we put it out and lit it. Yeah. And then it tipped over. <laughs> but it tipped over <laughs> straight <laughs> toward where everybody was sitting. <laughs> and we just started screaming. And so we just ran away and there's just fireworks. Back up, down down the street. Back up. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that the street. That was reverse. <laughs> that was the last time we had fireworks. <laughs> it's like y'all niggas is in war. As well as it should have been. And this is when they were illegal in New Jersey. Oh wow. So not only were y'all damn near you couldn't call the police yeah. for help. Y'all were being <laughs> hot on <laughs> ah, cool. No, nah, we were in Allentown. We're fine. You oh, no. Nah, oh, you're, oh, Allentown, New Jersey? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you yeah. just had to yeah, eat Nobody that. goes there. Yeah, we were good. Okay. Bro, for fucking uh, Diwali, the the, the Indian. Uh, shout out to Diwali. 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 Uh, Happy Diwali. Diwali. The Indian, the Indian okay. They were at this corner wilding for like an hour. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, if it was niggas, they would have been out there early. You you could are you trying to start a race? You starting to try the Indian the no, not Indian at all. race war? Not at all. He said it sounded not at all. He smelled crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, nah, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, that's no, why. I actually, <laughs> while we're talking about that, and that quick. is why it smells crazy on this block. <laughs> no, I actually <laughs> opened. I actually opened up the blinds and watched it. <laughs> nah, he said he came outside. <laughs> 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 Nah, did y'all see real quick? I'm sorry. Did y'all see that tweet where it says, I didn't know India had weapons like had body. Oh, 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 he didn't know oh, Indian had nuclear weapons. And then he put the Dragon with, Ball clip. And and then, <laughs> that Dragon Ball clip is so foul. Yo, the fact that that's really like. Yeah, there was one is just a guy with his arm up. I like this. Oh, I saw that too. I Dragon Ball was really out of pocket. Like that, that was his power, just being like dang. nasty, <laughs> stinky, being st- and it play- <laughs> And somehow the uh, the counter that to that was Krillin not actually having a nose. <laughs> like, bro, what type yeah. of goofy How shit? How do you have a character that doesn't have a nose? <laughs> Fool, lucky He's a you, human. I can't smell it. I think somebody had to remind him he didn't have a nose. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't even smell like that. <laughs> You're right. I'm I'm debilitated. <laughs> I was born without a nose. I breathe through my mouth all the time. Oh, that's right. I'm a I'm, mouth <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm a fucking freak. <laughs> Remember when Krillin got hair? He wished for hair? Yes. What? That nigga was such a simp. That nigga wished for hair, and he wished for a robot to have organs so he could get her pregnant. Chill, chill, chill. What? We ain't gonna disrespect Krillin. Sounds nah, like he was a man. fucking weirdo. I didn't watch the show. We ain't gonna disrespect. Yeah, he was Android simping. Android eighteen wasn't he was obviously an crazy. Android, but she he used one of the dragon's wish wishes. He could obviously you could wish for damn near anything. He said, "I want her to have a womb, <laughs> <laughs> so I can hit it right." And and make babies with her. Mm. Not ass free boy. You know he what that nigga did afterwards? Not ass That motherfucker boy. became a cop. Huh? Mm-hmm. That nigga could shoot energy blasts, <laughs> and he wanted the right parking tickets. He had to get he's a nine the, to five. He's one of the. He's <laughs> what nine, nine to five? What nine to five are you getting? He got to pay the bills. They huh? had nine to fives in that year. Join a karate tournament. Start a, start a dojo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're one of the dojo. strongest fighters on the planet. He's the strongest human, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's not even for it's not even up for debate. He's the strongest human. Don't do this, Mike. We don't have to do this. Because I, I, I 
No. Because what's the name of a human? Yamcha? No. Tien? I might argue Tien might Tien's be Tien's not human. Tien is human. Tien is not human. He's not? No. Oh, yeah, the fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Tien is a beater. Oh, what's the name of a human? You sure uh, Tien's not human? Black Ball. Oob. Nah. He is listed yeah. as the strongest <laughs> human. <laughs> Whoop that nigga's ass. Ah. Oob. Most yeah. powerful attack chocolate. Well, actually, is. hold on. That's not canon yet, so it don't count. That's very canon. No, it's not. It says the that was Dragon Ball Z is very canon. What are you talking about? The end of Dragon Ball Z is him flying off and after he sparred with Oob. Stop. Don't play with me, baby. How many seasons no. of Dragon Ball Z was there? A lot. Okay. Mm-hmm. Give me one second. Keep on going. Nah. Yes. Yeah, and there's that touch grass. Yeah, yeah. So right next to the grass is a street, and you could drag race in it with Tony and all them niggas. <laughs> family, <laughs> Dom, no, wasn't families. <laughs> I don't know all them niggas over there. I'm sure there's a nigga. That wasn't one of them GT shit. Don't worry about it. Forget nah. about it, cuz. <laughs> Nine seasons. Forget about it, cuz. Who was in the original seasons? Dragon Ball Z? It was in GT? Yes. Not, he, was, he was in oh, Z and GT. Seasons. It, it was 10 seconds. It because they, they just started <laughs> hinting towards him towards the last season of Super, and that's what. But like he's in Z. Hmm. Well, that's what the Dragon Ball. I don't know. Say. I'm saying it because the Tapion, database is saying it. Because Tapion's not canon, huh? All right, Keenan. We don't have to do this, don't man. Let's let's I'll move on. Move on. <laughs> Jeez. I have to say, like, all right, we get. So, it. how was your week? The I rest of your week. We get it. Um, I said the rest of the week. All I man, I just been in bed for real. Man, you had Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. Thursday. How was your Thanksgiving? Yeah, oh yeah. All right. Well. So this Thanksgiving was different for me because I just stayed in my room the whole time. Mm. Um, but yeah, family came over. Th- and this also this was different about Thanksgiving. I did not eat any leftovers. Mm-hmm. I had th- uh, I had two Thanksgiving meals on Thanksgiving and ate no more Thanksgiving food for the rest of the weekend. Me too. Mm-hmm. But I'm upset though. But it, it happened that way because whoever the fuck came over to my house ate all the goddamn mac and cheese and there was none left. <gasps> Mm. And if you know my mom, he gets. If you know my mom, her mac and cheese is immaculate. Is immaculate. Mm-hmm. Mm. Immaculate mac. It's a very good mac and cheese. Yeah, so mac- if there's none of yeah. that. I was like, I'm just not like the food. Everything else is fine, but the mac and cheese to go along with it is just it's the glue. Yes, it just mm-hmm. brings it all together. And I was like, man, I'm not. So that was different. Um, but other than that, it was cool. Like seeing family, people come over. Oh, what happened? Every, every ten seconds. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? Um, you should have just had a sign on your chest. I broke. I should have. I should have. So, but it is what it is. But yeah, it was fun. Um, so I did that Thursday, Friday. I had to do. I think I yeah I did Vera. Um, that was funny though because it was a bunch of old people in there. Like it was like a, an old head event on Friday. On Friday night, mm-hmm. yeah. Somebody somebody did a an all black party for Black Friday. Um, but he's like an old head pr- promoter. He's like oh, he's probably like forty something, fifty something. Mm-hmm. So yeah, all these old niggas outside. A lot of Stacey so, Adams. Yeah, a lot of Stacey Adamses and, and fedoras and and oh, and pocket no. squares. Um, but it was funny though because I walk in and walk, uh, hop, I crutched in, and mm-hmm. there's like an older DJ sitting there getting ready to get set up. I'm like, oh, you DJing too? He's like, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Da, da, da. I'm like, I don't know what happened. They told me to come here and get set up. Blah blah blah. So I get set up and, and the promoter comes up. He's like, yeah, we want this dude to go on first so he can do his hour so he can have, so whoever else comes in can go. I have seven DJs coming. I said, nigga, seven? How the fuck do you have seven? I'm on the flyer by myself. Where are these other niggas coming from? Seven DJs for how many hours? Yeah, no idea. So apparently the plan was he had DJs throughout the building. So it was like me and that dude, I forget his name. It was like DJ Cal something. Doesn't then he had DJs downstairs. So this dude, Cal, gets on. First of all, the sound was messed up at first, and then we fixed it. But he was like using like this. He's an old head DJ. Mm-hmm. Using like this well, little, m- using like a little mixer. Um, he wasn't bad. He's just an old nigga. Mm-hmm. So he's DJing. He got, he got on at like a little after 10, 1130 rolls around. Nigga, Touch Tone walks in. You know who Touch Tone is? The blind well, DJ? Yeah, yeah. DJ Touch Tone? Yes. He comes in. I'm like, oh, shit. Wait, he was DJing? <laughs> he was about to. So I think he ended up going downstairs. But I'm like, God damn, there's a bunch of handicapped niggas in here because I'm <laughs> sitting down because I can't walk. The other old nigga's sitting down because he can't walk. And then blind ass Touchstone walks in. I'm like, we got all these fucking handicapped special DJs. Special DJ Olympics. Yeah, he got the fucking Special Olympics in this bitch. Uh, but yeah, they I unlocked their, their full potential. Yeah, mm-hmm. He's trying to unlock the swag in that motherfucker. But I, th- I guess he ended up going downstairs. Um, and then old nigga, he said he was only doing an hour. He did like two hours, and then I did like the rest of the party. Mm. Yeah. So, okay. but it, it was good. But other than that, just chill all weekend, and then the tailgate, obviously. And then uh, now we're here. So. Nice. 
Mm. Yep. Good, good, solid. Good stuff. MJ? It's chilled. Nothing crazy. Nice. Word. Um, I had a good Thanksgiving. I went down to my girlfriend's parents' house in Virginia. Oh, Michigan beat Ohio State ass. <laughs> oh. Were you Bitch wait- ass nigga, fuck y'all. Were you waiting for that? <laughs> I think you just forgot. <laughs> you forgot? It's no, I ain't forget, nigga. <laughs> All right, no, my Three man. times in a row. Oh, mm, with that, our coach. Him. Ooh. Talk so, to him. Suck talk, my dick. Talk, talk, talk to him. Talk to shit. Mm. You say, what the hell is a Buckeye? What even is that we, anyway? We bust that nut. That's what we do. Ooh. Hey, y'all, y'all play off? Y'all still going to play off? Heavy talk. Right? Yep. Y'all undefeated, right? Yep. All right, let's, <laughs> not, let's not choke in the playoffs again. Get to the playoff, Texas. Oh, uh, we will be there, and you know that. Don't even. Uh, you need a lot of help. <laughs> a lot of help. Uh, yeah. yeah. You need we, a lot. We got one. We got one loss. You realize there's four slots, right? Let me see something. I thought there was more slots this year. There's four slots. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, keep going. Where, Mike? Uh, Virginia. Yeah, I went to my girlfriend's parents' house in Virginia. Um, had a really, really good time. Uh, really, they took care of me. Mm. It was cool. Like I, I really had no complaints. Like, what? Normally, you have like anxiety about some type of things. Mm-hmm. It was cool. They made me feel at home. Made me feel comfortable. I, have... I was there from about Wednesday to we'll talk about later. Saturday. Okay. Uh, yeah. Was there anything that was like glaringly different from your normal Thanksgiving with your family? From my dinner, the only thing different from my the dinner that I had there. From the one I had normally is that there was no mashed potatoes. It was rice with the turkey and all that. But other than that, mm. everything was good. Okay. Um, what kind of rice? Just white rice. <laughs> Straight white rice? With did, ketchup? Interesting. Did, no. 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 <laughs> I'm about to say, did she do she her thing? She better not be pulling up the ketchup one thing. No, 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 like, no. Her parents would not allow I'm that. I'm about to say, you got too many other things that you can mix <laughs> in with that. Don't pull up the ketchup. Her parents would not allow that. Um, yeah. It was really cool. Um, cooking all the time. They could drink, boy. They got nothing better to do. Man, drink. in Virginia. <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't even get down like that. But no, we know. She was getting down some that drinkers. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, I had a good time. Shout out. Shout out to Mr. and Mrs. D. At least some gravy, the rice. Of course. No, I hope so. I yeah, it was turkey. Yeah, of course. It was At least you put some ketchup on the white rice. So. <laughs> she do, not okay. they. <laughs> they did not allow that. <laughs> <laughs> whole, good thing it's not a whole family. Thing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a her problem. Yes, um, but yeah, that was cool. Uh, after that, came home. Uh, Liverpool, uh, K- tied Man City. Good at the death. Good draw. Good draw. You know I'm saying, top three in the prem. You know what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, no allegations. No, no, no allegations. charges. No, no point charges, deductions. No point deductions. <laughs> My team's doing fine. I ain't got no point deductions, so I'm just talking all, on the horizon. <laughs> we'll keep that in the touch. <laughs> well, yeah. We'll revisit. Nah, I'm just right. Until then, keep looking at our asses. Technically, Arsenal's at the top, but we'll we'll, we'll cross that another time. Mm-hmm. Technically them. Another time for Y'all them. not Arsenal fans. We are not. Nope. Exactly. Thank you. Nope. And I thank God every day. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> I want my knees and I thank the Lord every day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was cool. Sixers, one, uh, Sixers and Eagles. Eagles yeah, that that Sixers. was the most stressful Eagles game, bro. Eagles did the thing. Ugh. Jalen Hurts is him. Mm-hmm. Um, he is. They tested his DNA. <laughs> they tested his <laughs> joke. <laughs> that was such a crazy joke, bro. I think they. That's I think after that game, they gave uh, Jordan Davis a drug test, something like that. Really? A random drug test. I mean, for the way he was running after you saw how he was moving. That he was, shit he was, was scary. <laughs> they said that was the second highest speed of anyone over 300 pounds so he, or something from that season, or like from this season. So he did like a 16 mile. So I'm definitely clocking in at like 11. Hmm. Anyway. How do you figure? Keenan, how was your weekend? Yeah, how was your week? yeah, yeah. how you do the math on that? I'm just thinking. But he's he, six foot six, 300 plus. He's a, he's a natural born athlete. I'm a natural born athlete. Just didn't reach my potential. 
True. S- okay. I believe the only sports season you've ever finished was rec basketball when you was in elementary. And I finished <laughs> freshman year of uh, high school. Suck. No, you did. didn't. Yes, you I hurt. did. You got hurt. You quit. I freshman year. and I did freshman year. I quit the sophomore year. Suck, ah. dick. Now. And you probably haven't ran since. I have ran. Since. I saw him. On the you We're can also this. join the dick site. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga runs every day. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I gave myself the 11 and not the 16 because he's in shape. <laughs> Catch up, man. Jay. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lower your shit about eight miles per hour. And I'm going to bring it back up eight. Okay? <laughs> so you're bring it back. Let me Thank see. You. All right. Hold up. Is this something you're willing to test or is this just pod banter? What do you I'm, think? What do you think? <laughs> Both of you. What yeah, do you think's I'm, going on here? I'm keeping up with an NFL. Jesus. No, I didn't. Fuck. No, no, no. It's I, jokes. No, I'm not saying. Keep, <laughs> I'm talking about just. I'm not saying you keeping up with him. I'm like the about, actual miles per hour. Yeah. Are you something that you really. W- 11? No, I'm definitely not. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. Like, would you actually get out and like run on camera for a pod of it? On camera for a pod of it? Fuck no. And for fuck pod. Pod. No, content. Mike. You, pod content? I'm no. going to find a cow. I'm gonna find a way. Wow. You're racing that cow. We missed the opportunity by having eh, somebody. Eh, eh, somebody eh, easily. Eh, 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 <laughs> we missed eh, that. Eh, eh. It's never too late. It's not too late. That's all I'll say. We missed that for what? I'll tell you later. Yeah. Uh, all right. Anyway, Already you told. wouldn't do this yeah. for a piece of content. No. We could uh, all run past the speed fu- speedometer. Why are we talking about it? Speed speedometers in this neighborhood. Yeah, there is. I understand. It's one right there. That's that's crazy. <laughs> We, we, that's crazy. We, we that's, right now. that's wild. Uh, I'm, I'm about to say we can go out there Do you right think now. You can beat, huh? Well, not you. Ah, uh, we, we can do it for content. Could you beat Little Q in the race, nigga? What? No, I don't no, think so. I'm just checking. Youth alone is like that. what? Youth alone is out. He probably runs about seven miles an hour. Wow. <laughs> nah. I Damn. Can't. I can't run a faster oh. than a nigga fifteen years I, younger than me. I thought this nigga. Egads. I think you run faster Hell than no. seven miles I thought he was talking hour. about something. Hey, I'm like, what in the... Why is that even a question? Let's just move on to Keenan's week. <laughs> Keenan. So, it was Thanksgiving. I went to my sister's house. Guess I'm not average, huh? <laughs> I don't know. what. Went I to my sister's know. house. <laughs> I didn't even stay for Thanksgiving because I got there late. She had to go to work, so I just made a plate. And then what? I went to my boy Pat's. <laughs> Mike, why do you look so confused? <laughs> So you went to Pat and had some Haitian Thanksgiving? Had some Haitian Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, they were saying mm, some nonsense on Twitter, saying that Haitian mac and cheese is the best mac and cheese. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. No. And I the, hope there's nobody. No, no, then there was Haitian people saying, we're Haitian, and we know that's not true. So what are you talking Don't about? Don't they put all types they of probably put onions, onions and shit. peppers. Ew. Put it, mac and cheese be colorful it's as like hell. It's like And crunchy. <laughs> No, and fucking no. I'm no. not even gonna disrespect. No. I, I, I'm happy that Pat's uh, wife, her sister, always makes a regular mac and cheese because the mom makes the Haitian. So, mm. she, so the the regular one's always gone. The Haitian one just sit there. <laughs> People eat it just look like like a little dab just to be respectful. You say, oh, but the what, Haitian one sits what's, there. What's this? Mm. That's terrible. Haitian one sits there every time. <laughs> that is terrible. And then at the end of the night, the, the mom be like. Hey, you could take some mac and cheese. I'm like, no. <laughs> it's like that little girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this grill here. Yes, this rice here. Yes, that red and green mac and cheese. Now you can keep that red and that green. Chris, that Christmas mac and red cheese. red and green mac and cheese. Mm. What was the best thing y'all had for Thanksgiving? Did we have, did we talk about this yet? No. Nah. What was the best thing y'all this had this year? Mm. This year. Mm. Sorry, we didn't finish the week shit, did we? Nah. Uh, nah, but just. Mm. I'm just thinking about it. It was just. The turkey was really mm. good this year. It was year. light. Mm. It was regular for you? It was some little rolls. This is cooked. Some rolls they yeah, had. It was, it was pretty good. Sister used different shells. Shells? Try to be fancy. Uh, mm. For like the mac and cheese? Yeah. Mm. I just put the regular elbow Jones in there. Yeah, I do elbow. Like, you do elbow or the like spiral? Shells. I respect those. Bro, I've it seen was people, nice. It was good. Bro. Like stuff shell shells? Not stuff. It was like uh, the, Velveeta shell. The little no, shells. not Velveeta. Not even a Velveeta shell. Or the well, big no, no. Shells. It's hard to describe, but they were like little, like half moon. It was like fancy. It almost looked like like ravioli. Type. I was like, like oh, crab, the, the craft. Are they the ones that look like <laughs> almost like a bottle cap? Like yeah, a, like kind of like that. that, but big and 
Mm. It was good. You want to know who needs to go to jail? I mean, noodles are just, it's mm. all the same. <laughs> People who use spaghetti noodles and baked mac and cheese. Who's, Who's doing that? Who the that? fuck do that? That sounds like something People your family do. do. Get them. What people? Who will fight you? <laughs> 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 Clearly, they use but no. Oh, that's just for spaghetti. We ain't done that. So that might that switch it up. To make it I'm just saying that is shit on Kenan. But that shit is not. That's the type of thing. Did you see that in that, real that, life or like on a on a not in real life? But I I was watching a video where these two people was like making mac and cheese, like they was having a mac and cheese off, and the woman used spaghetti noodles. So like, oh yeah, my family. Is that all she had? We spitting that bitch. No, she like my family. This the way they do it, dead ass. And I was like, no, <laughs> it's a loogie for each eye. No, <laughs> yeah, no. It, if if you're the family that use spaghetti noodles for mac and cheese, your whole family needs to be disband arrested. your family, yeah. eradicated. Yeah, yeah nigga. I want them eliminated. <laughs> I want them erased. I want that last name to no longer exist. Mm. White people stop putting breadcrumbs on your shit. Yeah, yeah, we don't need that. Just put a lot of cheese on top. Breadcrumbs on a lot of things, honestly. Put the fucking yeah, a lot of a lot of things don't the, need to be breaded. Put the aluminum foil on the pan in the oven, and then when it's done, take it out and put it under the broiler. That's all you gotta do. You see, Just you broil the cheese. You see it on TikTok. You don't gotta put no breadcrumbs. It's on. this dude who mm-hmm. like when, every time his mom cooks, he like. They have to be doing that on purpose. It's got to be fake. It's, it's fake, fake, right? At okay. At this point, all right. All right. What is it? At this point, it's a white lady nigga, that just cooks the food. Nigga, the debauchery they oh, did. Oh yeah, for I have seen that. Yeah, it has to be fake. Yeah, it no, has, it I, saw one, fake. I saw one I video and it was like, nah, I'm not. Fake and I, I'm not doing this because they. Yeah, it was very wasteful. I feel like in the beginning, yes, there was some shit where it was like, oh, and then. And then they were like, oh, they're like, oh, <laughs> we need more content. The, 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 the worst, the worst. <laughs> Did you thing. see the ribs? The worst? No, no, no. There's something no, worse than the, the ribs. No, 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 no. I know what it's going to be. The worst thing she the did oxtail. was the oxtail. Exactly. Oxtail? This bitch Where the just, fuck she get oxtail? <laughs> boy, first off, the... <laughs> Who the fuck told her where to no, find listen, that? Listen, Who the fuck listen, told her where oxtail was? She, she got it from niggas that was selling it up in the truck. Finish the story about the oxtail. I had the shit laced. She... She boiled it. No seasoning. Huh? No seasoning. Boiled oxtail. Just straight meat. Just boiled. She she she, like she then, was, what she she was trying to stock? cut. Then she was trying to cut it and like she couldn't cut it. And it was just like I wonder why. <laughs> she did the same thing with fucking ribs. She stuck a whole rack of ribs, put in some water, some vinegar water. She like the vinegar gonna tenderize the meat. And then <laughs> and then took you some barbecue bitch. sauce. Squirted it on top. Slather. Ew. No, she just squ- it, you, you see the, the line and just stuck it in the oven. That's so wasteful, bro. Like, nah, and you're not. Like, you're not yeah, eating this, that. This is so good. Nah, you're not eating that. You're the not, Thanksgiving one, she prepared not. the whole meal. You're like, you gonna cook this? And I was like, no, I'm gonna cook it tomorrow. Like, oh, yes, yeah. put the little, oh my god. Oh wait, and then the lids. She's Chef Boyardee <laughs> mac and cheese. Yes. And it put, I'm gonna cook it tomorrow. I didn't even she, know they made that. She threw the lids away to one of the containers. It got was them like, out the got gar- them out the garbage and then put it to cover the food. Yeah, she's like, oh those and then got them out the trash. At nah, this point, it, it's, it's literally on purpose. I'm like, bro, it's very wasteful. Fucking this has to be for content. It's, very, it's no yeah, way. By far, for sure. Stop no fucking way. Yeah. Unless at the end of every video they go to like one of the master chefs and be like, hey chef, make this gourmet. And then they just take it and redo everything. That's a waste of food. It's, it, but, there's no way anybody's doing <laughs> But it's MJ waste. raises a great point. Breadcrumbs really have a stranglehold on the white community mm-hmm. and um as an ambassador to the white community i'm going to extend an olive branch to you and advise you you're the ambassador uh you're what? an ambassador of blacks ambassador of blacks to whites yes a uh, blacks to whites. I don't, I don't okay who, yeah i'll I take that but you know, i'm the ambassador of white community i'm like you yeah you, you know what an ambassador is yes michael so what was wrong with that sentence you being an ambassador to the white community. Yeah. I think he meant. That's I think he thinks you're saying that's that. the right. I think he's saying way that, to that you think, say that. I think he's saying that you th- were saying that you're an ambassador for white people. Yes. Then I would say ambassador of yeah the black community of the black. Community. Then that's there why right. I said that one. That one made. But the first yeah. one, I was like, excuse me, of and to yes of and to yeah ambassador to two. We're doing some good. I'm grammar association. Yeah. Word association. It's two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. I'm there we go. I mean, you said it the right way. It just sounded to the yeah. I still don't think Continue, you Continue, Michael. Yep. Because it sounds like you're trying to make them better. I am. Are you? By telling them. He's extending he, an he's olive trying branch. to help To them. not put breadcrumbs on shit. Yeah. 
breadcrumbs. I mean, you could breadcrumb certain stuff. Certain things call for it. My seventy percent of the shit <laughs> they put breadcrumbs on do not call for it. Oh, let me tell you something. <laughs> I had to pull out the video of the uh, the mom or grandma, whoever it was, that said not not to experiment on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. I yeah. had to pull that out on my mom. This no, oh. how she Mama, feel? That's, the how she whole family was up in arms because. Oh. Oh. She decided to put some extra crunch on a third of the mac and cheese Mm-mm. to experiment. Too a, much. A Anybody actually do that? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Everybody asked. My this. siblings were irate in the kitchen. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What? Is that? <laughs> what is that? Mama, what I love you, but respectfully, what the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> oh my. It's the one day of the year I'm looking forward to all of this shit, and you're gonna mix it up. This is that's no. what I understand. My sister had a breakdown because there was no mashed potatoes. She said, that's that's literally, "Who said we're not gonna have mashed nigga, potatoes?" That's <laughs> like waiting for the championship game to break out a new jump shot. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I, like no, you had so Just much do time. What's been working? Luckily, it wasn't my family because they would have scraped that bitch off, put cheese, and put that shit back in the oven. Because you fucked up the macaroni and cheese. Continue helping them. Yeah, but just like listen, breadcrumbs. Listen, if you have a question in your mind to put breadcrumbs in or on something, look to the nearest Negroid <laughs> that <laughs> used the exact same recipe, or just phone a friend. Just call him. Phone a friend. You might not have one Here's readily on, available. Here's somebody up on Facebook. I, Look to actually, and you don't gotta go. Look to your own person. There's that little skinny white girl that made a good macaroni, <laughs> a great and, macaroni cheese. and cheese. Teeny tiny, whatever her name is. If you feel a little bit more comfortable with your own people, go, go to her with your own people. Go on Facebook. Go on TikTok. Yeah. Look up macaroni and cheese YouTube. Look up the uh, Negrodian creators. Okay, so look <laughs> for look for one of these. A black hand, a black hand. Not this side, Honestly. this side. No, see, not not. Huh. Okay, <laughs> ha. Okay. Or if a white, go, they got to be from the south. No, no, I don't. This, 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 nope. Just to be safe, to be safe. Yeah, to I mean, be safe. Yeah. To yeah. be safe. <laughs> That's where there's no confusion here. Look for one of these. If you see this sprinkled breadcrumbs, mm. I need you to see at least three of these. In the room, sprinkle breadcrumbs, three separate hands. <laughs> then you can do it. If you see one out of five, mm-hmm. one out of six, mm-hmm. one out of four, mm-hmm. don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Cause what? What do we even put breadcrumbs on? What do we put breadcrumbs on? Chicken, chicken, chicken kind of, right? Breaded chicken. That's it. That's about it. Put breadcrumbs on chicken to fry certain things. Like, uh, like panko fried chicken. chicken. Yeah, mm-hmm. like. Like chicken parm or some shit like that. Right. But that's chicken just yeah. yeah, that's like just the like one fried thing. Chicken. <laughs> Bread crumb. Just use flour. Some shrimp. 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 Yeah. yeah. Anything that's supposed to frying. be fried. Frying. I'll allow you to do it. When you're putting you're making baked macaroni and cheese. Put it down. Put it down. Yeah. Put it down. You don't need it. Be and don't be smart, white man, and be like, "What about fried bread?" It don't exist, so don't try to create it. Fried, fried mac and cheese. cheese. I don't. Uh, put fried macaroni that, that, and cheese balls. That, yes, that that's those about it. Those are real. That, those are real, and that's probably the only way. If you if you're dying, <laughs> dying to fry some macaroni. And cheese. Yeah, ain't gonna lie, them joints at Top Golf be good. Fried mac and cheese balls. Yeah, mm-hmm. I haven't tried them. I don't think I've had this food at the time. Me neither. When you fry an ice cream, use breadcrumbs. I when I see people fried ice I cream, it was they batter. use batter. They use batter or they put it in bread. Like they'll take like roll out bread and put around it. Oh yeah, it might be better. Yeah, like they roll out white know. bread or something and like put it around the ice. Well, cream. I, don't, I don't know about either way. Bread, but mm-hmm. just either stop. Way. Just, yeah. just so <laughs> just be stop. Put be mindful. Be mindful, caucasoids. <laughs> um, just put it in. Put the shit on mm. broil. So has before we t- finish on Thanksgiving, has has anybody lost a step? I've lost a step. Lost a step what? Because I only ate one plate. No, no, not, not us losing one step because I'm talking about people who cook. Has anybody cooked? Oh. Lost a step. Nah. Uh well nah. Sh- I didn't go to her Thanksgiving, but I know that she lost my Aunt Patty. <laughs> Bro, she used to we 
people used to designate just her to cook. She was the cooker of the family. Right. We having son, Patty, you in the kitchen. But now she got all these different health things where Ooh. certain seasonings and salts and stuff. She she can't have it. Oh, so, so have her, everything she eating her is food different. now is the blandest shit in the world. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Damn. I'm like, oh, who made this? Nah, I'm good. Nah, that's not my patty. Nah, <laughs> that's not the patty I know. That's not the patty. <laughs> that's <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> no, I was about, her name is. This is Patricia. This is not patty. Oh, this is good. not patty. Damn. Because the patty I grew mm. up with. Oh my god! Would be disgusted. Would be crowded. disgusted. It's not even. Nah, nah. But we it, don't even have to. It's a. It's any of y'all family put sugar in their mac and cheese? Put what? Sugar in their mac and cheese? Sugar? Sugar? No. Sugar? No. Yeah. Oh, my, oh god. That. My aunt Vanessa, she she used like the extra sharp cheddar, so to cut the sharpness. She yeah, I'm not gonna sugar. lie, bro. Your family is not beating these allegations. I'm tell fuck free. Listen. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you, Listen, brother. Listen, hey, hey, everybody got somebody in the film that do a little something. But you done named like four people. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> One of them lives in this house. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you just leave your family on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Oh no! I went he to my, does. No, no, hold on. I went to my sister's house, and that the plate I got from her house was mm. supposed to be the next day plate. Because mm. I ain't eat nothing all day. Yeah. I, I eat nothing all day. I'm just gonna grab this plate from you, and then I'm gonna go to my man's pad house. Yeah. I got home. I smelt it. That plate was gone in 20 minutes, mm. and it was stacked. Bam. Okay. Gone. And I was like, "Fuck! I ain't gonna have nothing tomorrow." <laughs> There's no more. Nobody's eating more. No more leftovers, right? I hope not. Not, we're by done. The, you said you had your last plate today, right? Today. I didn't have. By the time this comes you out, push, obviously you was pushing it. Nah, my my you stomach were, is iron clad. You was pushing it. Yeah, you definitely pushing it. It's my third. Thanksgiving family left. They were in the Delaware this year, so mm. I just had I didn't have to go plates this year. Yeah, yeah it'd be like that. I know somebody that's listening to this podcast right now is having a Thanksgiving meal, and they're an animal. A week later, throw it away. Uh, yo, if you're throw it, not keep you, going. If you just no. ate Thanksgiving food today while you're listening to this, push it to the limit. You're fucking nasty. Go I'm straight, pushing, go straight to the ER and have your yeah. stomach pumped. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. That's all. I, just stop. That video of Michael Jordan. Stop. <laughs> get, some get, some get some help. Get some help. Get some help. Because let what, it go. Because what do you do? You have. You have really. To me, you have till Monday. Very I would latest. say Sunday. Very Sunday. latest. Sunday, you I have till Sunday. Sunday is the latest. You have the weekend to get that I'll out. I'll give you Monday. If you I'll are in Monday. the next I'm work week. Monday, so. Well, because yeah. you're living it. <laughs> yep. But what if you freeze it? I don't give a God. No. See, See, if you freeze that's a, it, that's now, what I'm saying. Monday. We talk to the white people. Now I want to talk to my people. <laughs> no, but what if you freeze it? I want to talk to my people. Just because you freeze something doesn't mean it, li it lives in this. This time portal where time doesn't exist. It don't mean it's good forever. Right. That's true. I mean, so, it's, it's at least good for... Yeah, the freezing helps. Mo more than a week? Yeah. What the fuck? Do you want turkey for more than a week ago before? It's not always just... Time. I didn't say it was turkey. Yeah. What? As, it, it, it only gets worse you know from there. It, 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 you want a week old Mac? Week old greens? It, but if it's frozen, you can unthaw it. Bro. Why? Well, it's not gonna hit the same. Why? Like, you don't you even just have to. Oven. Yeah, yeah it's a oven bad time. We, it. we don't have to do that anymore. It's all right. Yeah, you're freezing Whatever. your Thanksgiving yeah. meals. You're just doing too much. Or or you are borderline homeless. It's frozen <laughs> you're dinner. Doing too much. It's frozen dinner. Not keep it in the fridge until it's just gone. Yeah. And you know, and if it's not gone by that third, fourth day, let it go, baby. Then it's over. Let it go. <sighs> Crush it, put it in the trash. Put it in the trash. No, not even that, because it's gonna have to take the trash out now. So you might as well just take just, it, just put it in the trash bag. It's yeah. over. Yeah, just scourge. The festivities are done. Scourge the earth. You can't eat that food you anymore. Got the, it's fine. You got Your Christmas birthday coming. Can't be every day. Christmas yeah. is coming in four weeks. You're gonna have pretty much the same meal again. Yeah, your, yeah. Tur your turkey, come, your turkey, then got it gelatinized. Just it's fine. You be hate, I be hating the, the little jelly that be at the. It's all yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? Now it's to the point where it's more gelatin. Yeah, turkey look like a turkey jello meat. mold. Yeah, it's more just, it's more gelatin just, than meat. Just Come on, let it let it doing? let it go. Leave the freezer stuff for the freezer. Leave the hot the hot pockets need their own space. <laughs> okay, a I'm bag of corn, bag of peas, the <laughs> only bag of peas. They don't want this fucking uh, last week turkey taking up the vibes. Yeah, it's okay. Freezing mac. The only <laughs> thing I will allow past Sunday. And it's probably not even going to last that Water. <laughs> nah. I was, Water. I was, was going to say uh, sweet, uh, sweet potato pie. That ain't going to last. It's not going to last, but I will allow There's that to one Monday. of those in my fridge right now. 
I'm about to eat it tomorrow. Lamont. Jesus Lamont. Christ. Lamont. Lamont. Throw it away. Go no. buy a new one. No. Go buy a new one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the season. No. No. He's just being, he's he's just crazy. being no. No. He's just going against the grain at this point. I'll send you a video of me eating it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got to have it in slow motion. Mm. You know, so at Walmart, they had the patties. The patty patties. pies? Yeah. Well, I don't like the soup. Don't I, they, do they freeze those? They come frozen, yeah. but... I eat the peach cobblers and stuff. I like patty pies. I haven't had one in a long time. Peach cobbler, years. So they have the date on there. It's always like, eat by this date. And I always look like, oh, that's just going to be gone by tomorrow, baby. <laughs> I'm always going to beat the date. As you should. As you no, should. no, no. But it's like, I try. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Make it honest you effort. You, you, you try to stretch think, it. I don't think you understand how good those fucking cobblers are. Mm. I don't like peaches. So, Well, she got apple. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've, I've I've had the apple. She got the blackberry patty. You can keep that. She got the blueberry and strawberry. You can keep both of those. And I just found out they got family size, so then that's one. <laughs> family size, but I say because they usually make them like what they like this big, right? No, I've only seen the patty pie. I think those are supposed to be bigger. Or I've only seen little patty pies. I, 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 I the think other day I saw it and they had the bigger ones. Wow, that's different. I've never seen a. Uh, Personal patty pie. That's all. That's all I've seen. I feel like it's not supposed to be personal, but it just comes really small. Yeah. How much pie does your family need? No, I thought it was just regular pie, <laughs> John. I've never <laughs> seen a personal patty pie. All right. Oh, those also, are regular. No, personal green bean small. casserole, not a black thing, right? It's not bad though. I'm saying I've, I've seen the integration. I'm good off anything green bean casserole. Is not bad. I don't because want casserole. Went to a friend's house and they were like asking, like, "Oh, what your sister's making?" I said, "Just the normal." Mac G's, yams. Uh, we didn't do turkeys. They did uh, Cornish hens. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Uh, the the regular. Yeah. Roster. Standard fare. Yeah. Sta- mm-hmm. And then she was like, oh, no green bean casserole? And I was like. No. And I went like this. And I no. Said, <laughs> Pointed to your hand. <laughs> no, 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 no green and I don't think she understood that. Yeah, we don't do. I'm not doing that. Casserole. She thought you were pointing to your watch. <laughs> Is it it's, it's not. It's not. <laughs> It's yeah, time for time? green bean casserole. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. It's a mutual friend y'all know too. I was like, yeah. I don't know that person. I don't know that person anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, green bean casserole is really not bad, bro. I'm good. I don't think. And it's mayonnaise that, I think, I think, no, it's no. It's no, it's cream it's, and mushroom. It's cream and mushroom soup, green beans, and crispy onions at the top. <laughs> uh, yeah, all that sounds not necessary. I just don't want it. Just give me the green beans. Fair enough. And yeah, maybe some breadcrumbs. I think. Nah, <laughs> nah, ain't no breadcrumbs. That's I think, I think that, breadcrumbs. That, that's what the crispy onions for. I don't need that crispy. crunch. I do love those crispy onions. Yeah, them shits do be busting just by themselves. Oh, did y'all see the viral or the the TikTok with the? Uh, it was like a, I guess you can call it a friend. Potluck is sort, but it's like kind of Thanksgiving mm-hmm. at this company. Yeah, everybody brought some, and the one dude brought <laughs> mad shit. And then the one girl was like, "Yeah, Watergate salad." Oh yeah, oh, we talked yeah, about that last no, week. We did. Like, Watergate salad. But did yeah. you see like like? Yeah, we did. They we were did. trying to come. And I'm, and I'm like, homeboy was the MVP. He brought first of all. He brought like yeah, niggas trying to get a raise. Ham, I think yeah. He brought two mac and cheeses. He brought two mac. He but did he brought do that. one regular mac and cheese. And a spicy mac and cheese. Spicy mac and cheese. I like spicy, but yeah. I don't think I want spicy mac and cheese. I forget what, but he brought mad. Hey, listen, you, you. like some people just brought like one little thing. That's he, was, what you he was making one, sure he had enough food that he could enjoy. Exactly, yeah. he was making sure he, he ate. That nigga did. That he nigga sure clearly he played, he played it safe. For yeah, sure. that nigga clearly isn't good at his job. Wow. He's trying not to get what fired. He he was working. He was trying to smooth things over with people. No, he <laughs> not. He was just making sure he had something to eat during the potluck because a lot of people only. Eat the shit they bring. So he was like, I'm going to make sure I have me a spread. Mm. Now, nah, he went above and beyond. He went yeah. crazy. <laughs> but he was like, I'm going to make sure I eat today. I'm looking at that Watergate salad thing again. Boy, that is It's probably yeah. the one going to come up. The first piece. That is so yeah, nasty. Yeah, it looks like fucking gelatin marshmallows. Nasty. It's just yeah. throw up. Yeah. It's pistachio cool whip. delight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like pistachios, but suck my dick. I ain't eating that. Nah. No. Not a chance. What do we, what do we got today? Uh, you guys little dumbass order? son. Let's say, what did his son do? Because that. I, I that nigga, oh, I almost said the word. That nigga is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is fucking stupid. That nigga so, is remedial. Yes, they were at the uh, they were at the the Falcons game, 
it, it was really cool. So the Falcons brought back like a bunch of like Atlanta artists. Like they had people performing. Like Ludacris, Ludacris yeah, came down from there. ceiling. Fucking, I think CeeLo Green performed. They had fucking everybody was there. Ti brought out the team to bring them out. Mm-hmm. It was dope. Uh, so they're sitting in the box seats with like family and friends and stuff. And for whatever reason, it was King, right? That's his name. Yeah. King was on yeah, Instagram King, live. Yeah. Um, and they were pretty much like they were talking, having a conversation. But it was one of those things where like Tiny and Ti were joking. And then he actually got his feelings. I think he was drunk. I, you know, everybody was in there drinking. And I'm pretty sure he was drunk because he wasn't making no damn sense. So, pretty much he was trying to say that, like, he'd been standing on business and like, he didn't grow up with a silver spoon. Excuse me? And and that, and everybody, they're like, how the fuck I think didn't he said, you? He, he said. It was like, yo, you literally had a, you had a Picasso in your house. Like. <laughs> it's like, what? Hey, and it, it was on TV. Yeah, we wa- we watched you grow up in a mansion, my nigga. What are you talking about? And he's like, oh, y'all ain't see why I was on the grandma's house and I was, and I was doing this, y'all. Oh, and, when your father went on tour and you had to stay at your grandma's like, mansion? Like, what, bro? What are you saying? And then he was like, yeah, he's like, I'll take y'all to the band though right now. I'll take out to the band though right now. And T.I. was like, yo, you're embarrassing yourself. Like, what are you talking about? I think you're embarrassing me. Literally, bro. And he, he was just sounded dumb. And then he started talking crazy to his mom. And like, she like put his hand put her hand on him, trying to like, like calm him down. He like mm-hmm. brushed her hand off. And that's when T.I. had to grip this nigga up by his fucking Very collar. Very quickly. Quickly. He said, yo, you ain't going to do nothing while I'm standing here. I mean, um, yeah, he was he, that nigga's embarrassing. There's there's something off with him anyway. Yeah, like it's just always something with this little nigga. Well, if you watched the show, you saw he was like already kind of like the the problem child. At, but it was like cute then. Yeah, mm. but now you're is he the youngest? Is he the, the yeah. youngest one? Nah, no, no, there's a the there's a daughter, major. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the daughter. The daughter. She's only seven. But oh, the, I mean, oh well, she's newer. But yeah, she, she is. He, newer. he was a baby for a long time. No, he wasn't. It was major. Major. Mm-hmm. I don't know these kids. Major's the uh, the one after him. Oh, okay. And then the he's old, the one with the the meme with the the mug. I even know. I, 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 you know I've probably seen him. I just didn't know that that, that was their, their son. Yeah, that's from the, the show. only yeah. meme I know with the mug is a little white boy. And he's sitting there like that one is funny. <laughs> Ooh, shout out to Gavin. <laughs> yeah, Gavin yeah, that's yeah. the only meme I know with somebody with a mug. Shout out Gavin. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't know, man. That's just something. Something's wrong with it. I don't know why like kids want to be from the hood so bad. They want to be so tough, so what bad. Do you, you you gain nothing from it, bro. Like, Absolutely nothing. Like, what, what's with this identity crisis? Just accept the fact that your father lived through that shit and got somewhere where you don't have to live like that. That's the point. Like, he, him, him and your mom. Like, they both are very successful people, and they literally put you in a situation so you didn't have to be. But you're trying to go back to it to prove nah, something nah. to niggas? We gotta hey, go man, back to the trenches. Youth. That's what the youth do. That shit is weird. Like, look at where we live. That shit is weird as hell. You grew up, we've literally, like, it's one thing if you did all this and it wasn't on TV, but we literally watched it. Uh-huh. Like, there's 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 evidence of you being in a mansion and living in there. <laughs> you said he was drinking Obviously He had to be uh, and, and he needs to apologize yeah, He was drinking stupid juice I need an apology mm-hmm. ASAP Like so, <laughs> Apologize to your family bro Yeah Like this 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 level of delusion Oh I had no idea That that was their son That's crazy yeah, that's Oh that's okay. Oh I had no idea And he put Yeah he drinks this little Yeah Okay yes Yeah but Okay The, the level of yeah, delusion be, be like him yeah, I ain't heard him since the show. Yeah, and then the other, the other older brother, he's a rapper too, right? Yeah, yeah. he's pretty decent. Yeah. He's, he's good. And he said he's minding his business. Yeah, he was chilling. Yeah, they have a few kids. I think he's like the he uh, he's like the third youngest. There's only uh, two. Well, under. he got the other like because those are her kids. Well, mm. out of all Ti's kids, he's the third youngest. Mm. Ti's kids. Um, yeah, yeah. there's not really much else to speak on the matter about. The kid lives in a, a very uh, deep, deep delusion. Um, <laughs> and that's that on that. Crazy. He's it's a, not even his, it's his choppers. It's his whole mouthpiece, like <laughs> his whole face. He just his looks like he looks like a fucking like the, muppet, he like bro. The chattering fucking. Teeth. He, lo- he looks like he's a like, muppet. They put that shit in his mouth. <laughs> and nigga looks crazy. He looks like some type of muppet thing. In other rapper relations. Uh, one Radarius Wave has been under fire. Oh, this nigga! <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> you might pick up the mic now. Yo, this nigga. <laughs> Man, they go to our Rod Wave, our Rod Wave consultants. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because uh, they said he was out here stealing lyrics and uh, from multiple songs. I saw 
uh, this could be cleared up in case I saw it wrong. I saw that he said to one of them, like, you don't even know, like, what you're talking about because this got cleared mm. with the, with the, uh, the artist, the label or whatever, because that artist didn't own their music. And I was like, mm, fair play, Rod. You probably got something there. But, I mean, uh, there were some <laughs> other ones that people were like, mm. it was a lot of them. Yeah. Like, and I understand sampling is a thing, but he's just blatantly like, taking people's lyrics and then singing it mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like and he's saying like yeah other people i got permission for or he's saying like he said to boosie like he tried to say that boosie don't even own the song mm-hmm. well. and, and that and that and i guess yeah he got a point i mean he, if, if he doesn't then he got a point he, there that's but it. also it's like why are you so shameless like doing this i mean oh everybody, and i know a lot hey, i know a lot of people I'll, i know a lot of people do i know drake has done it plenty of times drake does it all the time yeah but but he does it Usually, I was gonna say he does it intentionally. I feel like they're getting angry. So do Rod. I'm not. Why is it, why would Rod be doing it unintentionally? I mean, there's a way of paying homage, I, I would say, versus just doing writing it, it off as it almost seems like your own. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what it is. I mean, that's still like probably like the slight difference. I don't think Rod Wave's paying any homage to Jay Z. Jay Z. He took a whole Jay Z bar, like a whole sixteen. <laughs> it was whole, Come on, Q. Nigga, did you see Is that? Did true? you see? Was did it you AI? See the was it AI? <laughs> it was a good eight bars. I'm like, what the fuck? He's just singing it. It was like just regular Jay Z lyrics, and he's just singing it on the song. Yeah, listen. And if you know the lyrics, you know, oh, that's Jay. He over there playing Hi Mr. Jay. But the young niggas probably don't know that's Jay. And and what? At the end of the bar, he he pulled to go. That was Jay Z, by the way. <laughs> like. <laughs> <the fuck? laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga. Like, but that's uh, cite like, your sources. Like, like a MLA format, nigga. Like, but that's the point, though. That was like, from lo- that was from Heart of the City. But that's the point, though. I think like when you're when you're him, you can get away with something like that because he's like, yo, the niggas that listen to me wouldn't know this. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. But he grew up with it, so he's mm-hmm. paying homage through his music. Is like, he? Yeah, I guess. I, I, I guess so. I, it's a thin line. It's a fine line. I think. All right. mm-hmm. That's all I'm going to say about it. Hmm. Think I, about Jay Z status in the world of music. Do you think that he doesn't have people that specifically check for shit like this? Rod or Jay? Jay Z. Like, do you think Rod Wave will be, will be able to get away with this? No, no, no. He asked for it, obviously. No, I, I'm not saying that. So then, how you say, like, he gets away with it because people don't know it's Jay Z? Like, Jay Z. No, it, no, it, no, no. He gets away with it for his to, to his fans. Like, like they like Quan probably heard that shit and didn't think anything of Jay Z. Just thought it was Rod Wave. Well, nobody thought anything of Jay Z. And Honestly. that's and uh, and again, that's part of the problem. It's not that's sampling forever. If you've listened to this shit now, you're not like, ah, this came from fucking Al Green forty years ago. No one does that. Mm-hmm. There's a difference between lyrics, straight lyrics. Yeah, straight he, lyrics. He took the part of the hook. That's all. It's like, yeah, it's not like he rapped the whole fucking song. But I, I think the but it's it's the, have, but the main less than ten seconds. This is and that's fine. But the main problem the is he does it so music. much though. This happens in the rap all. The you time. can't say that when the only time you've ever heard it was two days ago when somebody tweeted two songs. You well, it was more say, than two songs. It, was it wasn't. It was two songs. I saw the tweet you retweeted. It was two songs from two days ago. You can't say he does it all the time. There was more than two songs. Pretty much. Like everybody five. just wanted him to be kind and go, 50 told me. Jay-Z told me before they give the bar out. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way. Like this, that's Bro, like, how, that's, it's all right. that's music, unfortunately. It's it is music. It happens a lot. It happens a lot. It's okay. It happens it's, in every genre. Hip-hop, it's, R&B, it's rock, art, country. Art. Everything is stolen from somebody. <laughs> from something. It's, it's like everything's been done. It, everything. You're not nobody. You're not coming up with anything new. It was Boosie and it was Jay Z. That's the two lines everybody's talking about. What about the Ed Sheeran part? Was that real? There's an Ed Sheeran one. There's a Jay Z one. Uh, He did a Drake one. Yeah, it was Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran was three. That's three. You're right. There's a Drake one. We can keep going. It was three. (laughs) It's all right. It's okay. Rod Wave isn't a thief. He's just another artist doing what artists do. What artists do. The third thing, when an artist asks for it, just give him the money. It's not that big deal, mm-hmm. and that's what Boosie was saying. But then Rod Wave's response to that was, "Nigga, you don't even own the song." No, that that ain't what happened at first. <laughs> Boosie made a video about it, saying that yeah. he was gonna sue the nigga. Rod was like, "You don't gotta sue me. Like, just come talk to me. Whatever, we can figure it out." And then Boosie started talking shit, and then Rod was like, "Nigga, you don't got you don't own the shit, so I really don't gotta do nothing with you." There you go. Which is fair. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, you getting bucked for some shit that you don't even own, but player. <laughs> I was ready to have a conversation. I, with I tried you. to keep it cordial shit. with you. Yeah, no. I, I was going. I was going to hit your broke ass off with a little something, something. Yeah. But now, now you want to get all buck, buck. Yeah. You ain't getting nothing. <laughs> I can't handle the exact same way I would have handled that. Yeah, mm. fair enough. You're not getting a goddamn thing. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Mm. Yeah. When it, I guess when it gets brought up and it gets get, gets put under a microscope, it always looks a little funny. But um, yeah, and he's just. And I guess from I don't know, it's just this one screwy because he's the latest guy to be caught into that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And I feel it's like he's just, and I feel like he's a good writer. Gen Zers are just stupid. And oh, it's just you know. And Shane just Gen went Z. through the same thing with Marvin Gaye. Like, well, his was the his wasn't even the song; it was the melody, right? Yeah. But Marvin Gaye's song does that with every single thing, and that's why I, I and yeah, hey, I is this camera say, on me? I'm hey, just saying, like, it they is, are going to get October it's London. Popular. Count your days. October they, London. They Count do that with days. every single. Have y'all? Do you know who October London is? No. Keenan, I know you know who he is. I saw some shit that was October London. October out. London. You ever heard of him? No. He has a song. Literally, <laughs> take a month in the city. Go. Listen, You're dead yeah. ass. Like, yeah, that's literally what he did. He. I don't September know why. Paris. Yeah. <laughs> Just I don't like Tokyo. Why he made that his his thing? So he the has an album April called Brazil. the Re the rebirth <laughs> the rebirth of Marvin. And his song called uh, "Back to Your Place." It literally and his voice. He sounds exactly. Like Marvin Gaye. I mean, if that's my voice, you can't tell No, me he's doing thing. it on purpose. Oh, well, that's what I, I sound like. That's and what I sound like. It literally sounds like Marvin Gaye, bro. It's crazy. That's, that's not my problem. The rebirth of Marvin, though, they're going to get him. Marvin Harrison. <laughs> I didn't say which Marvin. Marvin Hagler. <laughs> hmm? Marvin Jones. Jr. Marvin Hagler. <laughs> Marvin Hagler. <laughs> Marvin Albert. We didn't say which one. Marvin Albert. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> that's not Marv Albert. No, it's but. good. Marv wow! <laughs> Shout out to Marv. Yeah, I don't know. his teeth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh, something I was gonna talk about for my week. Watch some good TV. We talked about a little bit today. Blue Eye Samurai Woo! on Netflix. You did, you did something with that one. I, see. I even finished the first episode yet, and I was like, God was like, damn, this is some heat, boy. Because mm -hmm. I I saw it and and the um, a cartoon that plays takes place in a. <laughs> Certain uh, place, okay. New okay. Japan, <laughs> okay. <laughs> anime, but I was looking at it and the <laughs> animation reminded me. Oh, of that like, animation is crazy. It reminded me of um Spider Verse, not Spider Verse, kind of. Yeah, it's just a little. It's a little. It's smoother though. Yeah, it's like more anim anime style. Super crisp, like three D. Mm -hmm. Story was like, uh, I say that's not for kids. Mm -mm. It's very. I I only got about. I I watched. Did you like finish it first, Like I finished the whole thing. Ten minutes uh, of it. Yeah. Yeah, same here. Kids. The first five minutes, I was like, oh, this isn't for kids. And the crazy thing is, I was watching that in the drive, like the, the parking lot of a Japanese restaurant that I was about to go to. <laughs> you getting ready? Preparing yeah. yourself? <laughs> I watched I want, that. You want to see Saki? You want to get the character experience? <laughs> went inside, had a little sushi. <laughs> oh, my God. Keenan. You were, it, hey, it wasn't playing that way. Y'all put it in the chat. Hey, give it a look. So I was like, I, I'm waiting. I could put it on. I'm waiting. Might as well get in character. Can walk in. Oh, so <laughs> nice to see all the Chinese people. Japanese yes, sir, restaurants. Right. Japanese, Japanese, <laughs> Japanese yeah. restaurant. You're in a Japanese restaurant, sir. Same different. <laughs> Sorry to inform you, sir. Sorry, we're, same thing. We're, we're completely. We actually have a long TikTok standing is. beef with those guys. <laughs> Did you see the, the making of that? What the yes. South Park? Yes. <laughs> And when they he, did the voice. Oh, they they have the making of that. <laughs> yeah, like the behind the scenes, Jeez. like the recording. Uh, oh, sure. <laughs> nah, it's the the worst one is when he goes. Uh, it's the episode where like uh, do the voice. They have them doing like the human centipede. Yeah. Okay. And then the, the Asian guys in the front, and Kyle's in the middle, and then the guy's like, "What do you have for dinner?" He's like, "Ah." Oh, do I want the tapioca pudding? Oh, yeah. Or do I want the cuttlefish and asparagus? <laughs> He's like, get the tapioca pudding. He's like, ah, oh, cuttlefish and asparagus? Okay. <laughs> oh, cuttlefish and asparagus. It's coming really bad. It's coming out of my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I believe in you, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> All of his mouth. Oh, my God. Disgusting. That, that was a very disgusting concept. What, yeah, that was the most sick concept. That was easily the most disgusting movie I've ever That was very seen. disturbing. Yeah, that was hard to watch. The first, yeah, that I think I don't even know if I watched the second one. I don't think I get not back. all the way through. I watched only the first one all the way through. We watched the first one at 
As a family. Yeah. Yeah. In my apartment. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was bad. I don't know why we decided. I don't to know do why that. we decided. Like, like twenty three. Watch, watch Human Centipede. <laughs> Just doing shit. That was so long ago. I don't know why that, that shit. It's goofy shit. But yeah, that was nasty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was nasty. Mm-hmm. But yeah, shout out to South Park. Yeah. Oh, the show. <laughs> back to the show. Yeah, back to the show. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say it's about a samurai mm. that is. Uh, I guess it, you say this is ancient, not ancient Japan, but like 16th century, 17th century, something like that. Mm. So Japan is closed off their borders. They're not allowed to have any like white people, white stuff, Western civilization, anything like that. Hmm. They, you know, they said smart. We good over here. You can keep that over there. Mm. But this uh, person is a, uh, I guess, a bastard. You say mm. like they, their mom was Japanese, and their, I guess, dad is uh, assumed to be a white man, a pilgrim. Yeah, he came over. One of the few white men in the country. Um, and pretty much the show follows them trying to kill their dad or who they think is their dad. Mm. And they just they catch body after body. They kill a lot of Japanese people. Great. I figured, mate, first, first five minutes, she chopped off four fingers. I don't get yeah. how they got the first two. Like from the angle. How hey, 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 hey. Don't she's know. like that. What? The she's fingers? Like, yeah. She's like uh. that. Yeah, well, yeah, his fingers were on the gun. It was and on she the had, opposite side of where. No, she, she was, but it doesn't show what side she even chops. She clearly chopped that side. She goes, well, oh, yeah, of course. But she, yeah. she would have had to do a little loop. Yeah, she she's came like that. She came. She liked that. She came up with the pop. Mm-hmm. You're not even worth my blade. <laughs> Say, oh God! Ah, like, oh, ah, ah, ah. the <laughs> fucking two fingers like that shit was cold blooded, bro. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I'm locked in. Tight like a booty hole. Say, damn, they go, they going too hard in Japan. <laughs> like, oh, going, but also, I was thrown out because the guy hard. they had like a slave. I'm sorry, I don't know when he's. It's sport. not a slave. No, no, that was his son. Know, the son. Oh, the son. Okay, well, he was like the servant there, though. Um, he was just doing everything. This nigga had no hands. He was born without hands, he and his just, dad was an asshole. Yeah, a fucking dickhead. He just had no hands. Oh, wait, no. He, he didn't have hands. No. no, Ringo has no hands. How the fuck was he doing that stuff then? He had a little contraptions, little, yeah. like little wristbands, like sticks. <laughs> Yeah, you just stick the. Uh, I was like, you see the right? Yeah, you just little sticks. Stick the chopsticks or like a spoon onto his wristband. Ah. He figured it out, but he has no hands. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's crazy. Because mm-hmm. he got the whole thing. Like you better not spill it, and then kick him in the ass. Yeah, I'm like, I'm what like, the fuck? Treat him like a dickhead. My Don't spill it, no then you're gonna kick him. Handless. Oh well. well. Mm-hmm. But yeah, now I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna finish it. How many episodes is it? Eight. Eight? Oh, that's short. That's easy. But they're I mean, an hour long. Nah, some of them are only like 35, 40 minutes. Oh, okay. It, that first it depends episode. on the episode. You know, the, the first episode is long. I was like, so. damn, bro. We can't get 30 minute clips. We got to get an hour long banger. Yeah. yeah. That's how people listen to this pod. They said, damn. Uh-huh. They said, and damn. Two and a half hours. I can't get 45 ah. minutes. Nah, you get the strokes. <laughs> Come back later. <laughs> you Still going to be stroking. Round two. Still going to be stroking you. Long dick of like, huh? What else? We got seven strokes to get through. Oh, Invincible I don't know if you I Yeah I caught finished. up with that I'm so mad that they Chopped that into two Separate parts for one season Like They getting lazy Like why I don't understand And this is how people Lose interest but That last nah, episode They, they know that's, They know That last that's episode coming back. boy That's how they make more money When that Steve Harvey came back With yeah, a vengeance God, bro. <laughs> Did you watch it Mike? What? The last Invincible, Invincible episode uh, I, I haven't watched I, I, watched, I didn't watch Four Oh, oh. Watch, the third. watch it. Never mind. I know watch. what happens, though. So, well, you don't know what happens in this episode, do you? I know what happens in the whole story. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're talking about this episode. What? Tell me what happens. Okay. Chill, I ain't watch it. <laughs> Are you going to watch it? Yes. <laughs> I got watched three and I'm guessing four. <sighs> Never mind. Yep. <gasps> so hold your horses. I'm Damn, not there yet. Keenan, I want to talk about this. All right. We can talk it. about it off air. Fine. What show is this? Invincible. Invincible. It's superheroes too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's fire. also non superhero superheroes. Like it's fire. Nah, Q, you would fuck with this. So it's animated. Is, is it boys. like the boys? It's like yes. animated. The boys. The boys. It's animated. animated the boys. Uh, nah, Q, you fuck with it, bro. Nah. They nah. Their one, lips move Q, with the words. Q, hold up. One, there's, y'all niggas. Q need help for one. No, you like Q. the boys. You like the boys, all right? Oh, the boys is sick. This yeah. isn't that sick. Like, I I didn't not like it, but like I couldn't also stop watching. What, that's how that's how invincible or, is. Yeah, like yes. I, it's not like something I would typically watch, but I binge watch from the we talked about it two weeks ago, three yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. I've watched all three seasons 
I knew you. And I've been done for a week. You Listen, you? bro. <laughs> there was one part of, of the season of Invincible. He fucking chops this nigga's stomach with just his hand like that. Yeah, that sounds like some of the boys. Huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 I know you've seen the fucking fight scene from the first episode last season. So after watching that first episode, if you're not hooked, then you're just smart. I don't, fuck I don't think you saw that. that. Yeah, hey, off of Twitter, that scene was going around crazy. Or if you see the fight scene between him and him and Omni Man, no, nah, it was Omni Man the f- versus the Justice League or whatever. Where he, he was going through just wrecking everybody, Close. squeeze dude head together. That's what I'm saying. I was like, I just need uh, season two of Gen V. The fucking blur was over there punching him. And his Look, we, we got him. Yeah, now nah, nah, I need to know what the fuck happens now. I'm hooked and mm-hmm. just yeah. want to know the story at this point. But I mean, they say uh, the next season yeah. of yeah. The Boys is going to pick up directly. <laughs> I'm, really, after. I'm sorry, Levi. I'm really just trying. The no, man I, is so I, close I, to like It's right there I'm gonna, I'm, gonna I'm gonna put it on the lower side I was about to say Can we like We put it's a like, camera in there It's like lightly like, tapping this like, shit I'm sorry y'all Shit should have been Yeah let's, let's I was getting nervous just now I'm glad we just broke the fourth wall I'm like uh, uh. Great great work Quan. I yeah, like that we, we put the camera on the shit <laughs> That shit was kind of. <laughs> I was looking at MJ late. I was like, <laughs> my wife looked at Mike said, Is this okay? Yeah, I was like, Is this going to work? Because I want to get cool. I want to cool down. <laughs> but I also don't want to destroy the lighting. <laughs> yeah, was, okay. The just, light is it's wobbling. Out. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. not cool anymore. That sandbag is. <laughs> we, are, we have approached non cool zone. <sighs> I only have a beater under this. It's just, it's not that. Dang, that's poor planning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Only a beater under a hoodie? It's a what? Uh, a, uh, a, a A shirt. A shirt. A tank top. A tank top. Yes. 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 Can't say that anymore. Yeah, you're right. Who said we can't call it anymore? Just said it. I'm about to say I mean, I mean, it's the, not a great society. <laughs> no. Speaking of beaters, yo, did y'all see um, Matt Rife's uh, Netflix special? It wasn't good. Stinks. It wasn't, yeah, it, was, it wasn't it good was at all. trash. Talk about Chris Brown. Nah, wrong beater. Wow. Wait, um, so Matt Rife's uh, Netflix special wasn't good. No, no it wasn't. Nah. Like it wasn't good. And it was just like, hmm. yeah, like mm-hmm. you can just tell he's not a he's not a joke writing comedian. Mm-hmm. Like I think people were. I saw one girl on TikTok talking about how he's trying to change his audience and he wants it to be like more guys because mm-hmm. he had like a lot of girls watching him. So which is which is uh, I understand that, but I think I don't think if that's, that's his reasoning. That's stupid. <laughs> I don't think that's what he was trying to do. No, 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 no that's exactly no, what he, he was trying to do. He's been vocal about that. A bunch. His he said the first two big shows he did, the first show was all women, the second show was all gay males. And that's when he realized that his his fan base is not because of his comedy. His they want fan to do base is because of the way he looks. So he's trying to get comedy fan like fans based off his comedy instead of so he's girls trying to date, just like, going out to see him because of the way the actress but it's like bro breast reduction so this is what this is it's, this is it's actually, silly though because gonna respect me for my craft but remedial. what he was doing was working well it's like him him writing jokes or whatever telling jokes going to a crowd that isn't there for his jokes they don't care about what jokes he's telling yeah but so he wants to tell jokes and they want to see his dick. But clearly he was <laughs> well, from the from the clips that he was even posting on TikTok, he was never a joke writer. No, it was like always he's, like band crowd work. Yeah, crowd his crowd work. crowd work is immaculate. He said because the jokes weren't landing because of who was in the crowd. That's his whole beef with it. Or like not beef, but like that's his whole or thing of maybe, trying to switch it up. That, maybe. That, that's his response. That's all. That's his response. But also, yeah, and, and it works into the fact that the girl on TikTok, I gotta find that TikTok. She said that Early in his career, he was on Wildin' Out. Yeah. Mm. And somebody asked him, like, yo, do you see your career kind of going like Gary Owens, um, where you're not necessarily the token white guy, but you get to be around, like, a lot of black events. Like, whenever Def Comedy Jam does something, Gary Owens was doing it. Do you see yourself going kind of like that type of trajectory? He mm-hmm. said, no, I don't want to pigeonhole myself like that. Yeah. I that, mean, and that's no, not a bad answer. Fair. That's not a bad answer. It's a bad answer when... The same thing happens again, and also, and then this your response the to that is, <laughs> "Oh, I don't <laughs> want to pigeonhole myself." <laughs> it's a problem when they're you're talking about the only people who gave your ass any attention in the first place. It, it, yeah, you're you're trying not to be you pigeonholed. He wasn't, he with wasn't the people nowhere. That you we put you on while and out. A black. He wasn't nowhere before that. Would you say that, that about we, Kevin Hart? He has to stay only black because he that's who gave him his his start. No. So then why are you saying the, that for him? But Kevin Hart's actually funny, and he's been uh, he was in other places. You see Kevin Hart develop in the yeah, other yeah. places, and he did oh, not alien- an He did not alienate 
Never. Any part of his fan base. Sure, he's not trying to alienate, he's but not, he's not trying he to cater. He just said no, that. He's he's not, said, no. I'm, I'm he's not, not trying to pander. He, but that's not. I, he's he's not trying to just have jokes that only if you're black you'll understand. He never had that. Yeah, but he's not that. That's what he's saying. He 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 doesn't just want to have a black audience. Now I'm sure there are white people who know who Gary Owens is, but Everybody if you was to go to fucking South Dakota, Gary Owens Gary Owens ain't selling shit. I mean, I'm. I'm he not, ain't selling shit in South Dakota. I'm, I'm not sure about that. Maybe one of the that. naval bases. Yeah, 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 sure. That's, base. Because that's for army America. base. Yeah, there's bases. I was gonna there. say naval base. There's no water. No, not naval, but uh, army, air force. Listen, there's there's, okay. there's nothing Whatever. wrong with him saying that I want to be more widespread. Because that's essentially no, what that, what but that's he was not saying. Really, yeah. what he I, when you say I don't want to pigeonhole myself, that's exactly that's what exactly what you're saying. I guess. I guess. But when we, but when are, you when you turn around and do it again, when you get a fan base, that's what you're. That's what he's doing. Now he's, you're just now he's you're not trying to well, pigeonhole no. himself. Now you're just not, you're just no. not famous the way you he's, want he's, to be. That's he's looking is. to appease a crowd that he can't relate to because he is not funny. No, no, he's no sure. Michael. No, because I think he, that's what it is. The, he's just not funny. The, the people now that gave him that put him in his spot now is just people that just think he's attractive. It has nothing to do with his comedy. His most of his fans are people that want to fuck him. But I've seen, yeah, that's, but no, I've seen that's plenty of clips of him that's that, that was funny. But right, slow down. No, but the thing is, like, like, it's just, like he, he's doing again, saying I don't want to pigeonhole myself. Yeah, I, I don't want to pigeonhole because I'm a, a comic. I'm not a model. Yeah, and yeah, then he kind of. That's what. My and then the problem is, he kind of just went out and proved that he's not even funny. Because he's trying to. Because you tried to. You tried to get that audience. He don't want and the, then you weren't funny. He don't want. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't even get it. He don't want the. What? He don't want the black people. He doesn't want exclusively black people. He don't want the gays. People. He don't want the. He women. doesn't want exclusively. He wants women. to appeal. You want to white the, men to the white dude. You bro, want white boys edge lord comedians, and that's why he went on a he went on a special in front of a bunch of women and told domestic violence jokes that weren't that's, funny. That's not and that <laughs> weren't funny. On top of that, you're not reading the room. There was only one of those jokes. I'm so, multiple it's multiple and you don't do that in a crowd of fucking women and you're not funny on top of that at least so, funny. so once you alienate two groups you're it's called fumbling the bag again and again and then the group that you're tr the group that you're selling out all these people that give you money to appeal to the group that you're trying to get to they don't want to fuck they don't want to fuck with you anyway because you're not funny the jokes don't land. Yeah. And you just don't fit that mold. And it's, part of it is because he is an attractive dude. And I'm not going to lie, being an attractive dude in comedy, especially, no, no, whatever. Take that and ride it, as, bro. <laughs> as, as attractive as he is, he's not going to reach the average dude that you might think may be into comedy like that. Hmm. Hmm. Do you time. think that's going to hold Com him back? Comedy is about relating to people. And the regular person that's like... I thought comedy was just that, about jokes. I think it's about relating. It's when you do that, relation. certain type of comedy. Yeah, you start and to have a relation to people. People give money to people that they relate to. So you're saying okay. he's too attractive to be a comedian. That is, and not funny enough also. And yes. not funny enough. Well, yeah, yeah that's, I think that's I'm the saying the I'm saying the attractiveness will set you back unfortunately his attractiveness have gotten the special i'm talking about in relation to the people to the he's people trying he's to, yeah, okay. his target trying audience to you're trying to target people who don't audience. give a fuck what okay. you look like okay that, exactly <laughs> they, they don't, don't give a fuck what you look okay. like are you funny or not and, no he's not funny <laughs> and then if you do look good they might hold that against you because this pretty boy don't know what it is to make, make jokes and be funny and be witty because in their mind I'm thinking like a hating ass nigga myself. He ain't never had to joke and work into nothing in all his life. Look at him. But. Okay. And then, but at the end of the day, it just boils down to the fact that the nigga's not funny. Nah. He, he's good at. He's, and then, you gotta keep working. He's not funny enough. Yeah. He's not funny uh, enough for that, what he's trying to do. And then when you. Then when he did the double down thing where he said. Uh, if you have an issue, click the link and he sit the special. I thought that it. was pretty funny. That was no, funny. that was funnier than the whole special. It's fun. It, that was funnier than it the whole special. Been, it it, it, it was, was just un, like it, you're trying. You're trying to be really edgy. Yes, you're trying too hard to it's, be edgy. That shit is whack. Yeah, I thought okay. it was. When you try so hard, when you try so hard to be edge lord <laughs> shit, like what? What are you gonna say? That shit was funny. What are you gonna say, Q? No, I was just fixing. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. <laughs> that shit was kind of funny. I ain't gonna lie. 
I thought no, me, you know, I'm all about the petty response. Mm-hmm. You're an yeah. animal. Yeah, I'm all about the petty responses. But, but I, 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 also, I but also for me, I thought it was funny. Like when I saw it, but all, I didn't. I didn't have a backstory really. I didn't know he was fighting through this. But after watching the special, and then like, oh, that wasn't really that fighting funny. his attractive demons. Yeah, fighting his demons, and then he's saying like, oh, I don't want to be pigeonholed for this. Well, I don't want to be pigeonholed here. It's like, well, you're trying to reach somewhere where you can't get because one, you're not funny enough, and two, you're just roll with who you have like you have this momentum why not just ride that wave i mean when well, i think you have three groups of people who fuck with you you got gays black people and women yeah I, hey, I don't think black people no. riding with them now I think it's, well he, i mean well speaking from when he was on a wild and out but sure he wasn't that, uh, he wasn't that funny on wild and out he, he had I'm, his moments that's because he's not that funny period he, i'm just saying a, but he, he i'm just moments. saying he made no a few other, dollars from wild and out got his teeth fixed and then blew up that's what I'm saying. He wasn't getting a shot nowhere else is what I'm saying. But Please. how how long can you be the attractive comedian? How long does that last? As long as you're attractive. As long as you're funny. The thing what is, do you mean? Wait, hold on. What do you mean by that? If his idea is like, I don't want to be pigeonholed for my attractiveness, maybe it's like, I know that gets old. Like me just being attractive, telling jokes is not going to last forever. Mm-hmm. If I'm If I can somehow get an audience that thinks I'm funny, I can be funny longer than I can be attractive. So like sex appeal is gonna wear off because he's right. he's just on stage telling jokes. He got up there and started telling Fortnite jokes. It's not like he's doing underwear. I'm tired of girls that wear crystals. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Stop blaming what you feel before on Mercury. Oh, Fifteen minute God. tangent about before that. Before the special, what jokes or bits do you know? Did you know? He about don't him? have yeah. none. So, he's not a he's not a joke writer. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm not even trying to be a hater. Before the special, what what <laughs> did you edge. know about Matt Reif? Like tell like if someone would be like, yo, do you know who Matt Reif is? It's Matt purely Reif is? crowd work. Crowd work. Okay. Ten out of ten. You, 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 I, I'm not trying to make a defense for him i'm genuinely asking yeah. before so, the netflix special if i'd be like yo what do you know matt right for tell me what you knew him for mm-hmm. it's crowd mm-hmm. work. his crowd work and what? Be that, specific. that's really it be, no be specific like he the joke he'd said about whatever he did this with this oh um, he did one where he did a crowd where he was interaction with this one guy that he was on a date with a chick and i guess it turned out that he might have been the side dude it's like literally just working with the crowd i understand i, I know what you mean by crowd work i'm asking for a specific that's example. what i'm saying that's, 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 that's overall that's all what it is that's kind of yeah, what it is I, I like, it's different she was one. like talking with a like it was like a couple yeah, and there's multiple ones and girl, it's, it's so much it's situations a, like that it's hard to name a specific seat, joke because it's not like a yeah in the crowd like it's just little crowds not a specific one yeah. All yeah. his highlight moments that you think of him is not something that like it's, it's not, not a th- joke. Not something that we yeah, can it's reproduce. Not a he joke. crafted on his own. Yeah. It's just in the moment. Which listen, that is an amazing That's art. a gift. That's a gift. But it's just like fucking sound effects on podcasts. It's great in moderation. When you depend on it. Do you see the 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 one where he's talking to the, the mom? And they FaceTime her daughter. FaceTime the daughter, yeah. Nah, I ain't see that one. I ain't see that yeah. One. Yeah, because he was like, oh, like, you're you're hot. Like, how how old is you? And she was like 40-something. Like, she was young. And he was like, oh, like, you're attractive. Like, you trying to... He's like, oh, I got a daughter your age. He was like, does, you, does she look like you? And then caught on FaceTime. He's like, oh, yeah. You want to talk to my wife? She's like, get out of here. Stop it. Pulled the phone. It's it's just that all, all his stuff. Is just like, <laughs> it, no, like like nah, no. It was it, it was funny. It was. He funny. took her phone, Facetime the daughter, went through a text thread, and found pictures of them oh, yeah. sending their tits back and forth. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? I mean, <laughs> the daughter and the mom. Yeah. Or, it was one one Terrible. way or the other. Like the mom either sent it to the yeah. daughter, or daughter mm-hmm. sent it to the mom. Cause they like there was like a, something there, and they were like trying to like, what do you oh, think about crazy. this? <laughs> so like. <laughs> But I will say though, <laughs> no, that's, that shit was hilarious. That's but what, then he had another show in that city recently, and like she came back, and it was like another thing about them, and they Facetime the daughter again. But it's to Lamont's point, it's like that's not really, um, doesn't no. have a lot of longevity in that. Like you know what I mean? Like, like and, think about uh, this: if you're doing a tour, right? Can you cre- recreate or create a situation like that that's going to take up twenty minutes every night? No, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, like, yeah, no, because I've heard, like I've known people that have gone to his shows. Like, I know one lady I work with. Her, she said she didn't like it. No, uh, it's so, like you so can't. I can't that type of stuff. You one can't like do. legitimate that's why, joke. That's what all, made all me, the jokes I know about him are crowd work. Yeah, that's what made me watch the special because I'm like, what exactly is he going to be telling jokes about? Like, I've never seen anybody do a Netflix special and just make fun of the crowd before. Well, you can't. That's you can't. Bad. 
Yeah. See, and and the thing is, it's like speaking on that. Like, I don't think that this special would have worked regardless. Like, if 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 I was in his team, and he was like, oh. Well, first off, if Netflix is going to throw you the bag, take the bag. Yeah, it's correct. Bag. But I, I would be like, none of your clips have been from you telling a joke. Yeah. All that, your viral stuff has been back and forth with people in the crowd. How are you going to be able to do that on stage? It's hard to do. But that reminds me of uh, Nate Jackson. You ever heard of him? Now, he... he but uh, he, he doesn't... He, he's the same way. But he, don't, his clips say, he is, doesn't tell any jokes. Like, oh. I watched videos of him, long clips. It was like 30 minutes. No jokes. He's just talking to people, and he's really funny. But it's like, all right. So if he was to get a Netflix special, how would it even be good? Or if he got like a Comedy Central joint, like it would have to be something like that. Like it it would have to be something like that. And it, it, but uh, But like Mike said, is that sustainable? There's a cap, yeah, on where that can take you. Yeah, it has to be. Oh yeah, is it a Netflix uh, special cap? No, it's definitely a lot. Lower than that. Can you make a career out of it? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. without a doubt. Can you be successful? Yeah. Absolutely. But are you going to be a top of the totem? No. 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 Uh, the, they have like, to be. These niggas are like Jamal Crawford and Joe Johnson. Like, yeah, they can play ISO ball. But they ain't going to fit in that offense. Mm. Mm. They ain't going to fit in that offense. Yeah. And you're not going to win no championship either. But it's nice to have them while they're there. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You gonna collect some six mans of the year? Yeah, he might. He gonna put up sixty one night. Yeah, yeah. But he's gonna have nine turnovers one night too. Ten Believe points. You get five ten points. Po- seven points. Four <laughs> points. Two 50. points. Fifty. Fifty. Fifty five. Whoa. <laughs> Fifty five. But that's what keeps you. Twenty three percent. That Fifty five gonna keep you a job. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. But you know, I mean, listen, Matt Reif. We'll get him on the pod. I know he listens. Word. I mean, but as soon as I. S- Whenever I see comedians that's like, you know, once I see them make circulation, I'm like, all right, it's just crowd work, crowd work. I'm like, okay. So, okay. I get a little um, leery Mm -hmm. about that. Okay. Like, even some guys that I really like, Mm -hmm. mm, like, it, 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 it just, it's just something that you can really be too dependent on. And it could be. It's good on one end, but it can be damaging on another end. Yeah. And especially when you don't do yourself no favors like this guy. Mm. Mm. If you'd have just kept with the chicks that was like running with you, they'd have rolled through the bad jokes and just been there because at least they. Bro, how long is that going to last? Yo, it's lasting longer than you have nothing now. Yeah. I think uh, he doesn't have nothing. He doesn't have any. He doesn't have nothing. But he he's definitely a on lot a less. fast track to being. A he's boat. on the fast track to nothing. Yeah, we'll see. He won't be anywhere long. Like I should have known, like a red flag, like just looking at his TikTok and his social media, that he never once had a joke that like was a clip. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's always just him talking to somebody. I should have known. But yeah. that's that's really what made me watch. I was like, at I, that hope, point, he's, I if, hope he's telling a good joke. If he wants to do it, he 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 just got to keep working. Yes, just got to keep. Oh yeah, of course, keep working. No, he but can from, always he, go from back hearing to being those attractive. jokes though, from hearing those jokes on a Netflix special, at this point in his career, his career is not. Nah, he's cooked. I no. don't. Nah. I, I don't see him no, he's, developing I would argue a that pen. This is the beginning of his mm, career. I don't. I don't see him developing a pen. What? I would argue this is the beginning of his career. Yeah, because right. you know, because you know what, I can't see. You know what, because <laughs> I can't know see what, it happening. What? what he could do, and I, 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 an I, I could predict this right now. He's gonna be an actor because I know the demographic he wants to reach, and I know what's happening now. I feel like he's gonna parlay this backlash from the the special oh, helmet thing. Turn mad political. Yeah, be like, yo, yo, they don't want to see me win. They're trying to be against me. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't like, think that, we're going that's, there. I, that's some. I, I'm ne- I, I think that's some. At the end some, of the day, that's man, like your own self bias, not self bias, but your own bias toward him. No, that you think that way. it's my. I'm telling you. No. Have you seen that as happen the, before? As the as the ambassador too. Yeah, <laughs> ambassador to <laughs> white people. <laughs> Come on, give it to me. Four or two. No, no I was just, you know, that, that was a setup for you. Yeah. you know, nah. that, mm-hmm. I don't think he's. Do you agree? Do you finish it. I don't got nothing to say. Nah, if he turns into a right wing <laughs> comedian. Listen, I know how you got to study the enemy to know how they think, man. Let's say he wanna, he want, he want this, he want the 
the he want the what, do what you know he, what he wants. If he comes out and starts saying snowflake and shit, then yeah, he I will. wants what he thinks is like the comedy purist, which he thinks are like. I don't think and you got this. Oh, one really special wants that. It's not a, It's not just one special. I got from one special that he'll never develop it's a fan to be a real comedian. of behavior. All right, we've been talking about him for like of, eighteen minutes of, of him. Yeah, <laughs> his his history of behavior. This is the first time you've seen this. So, what history of behavior are you talking about? If you go from you were messing with black people, to go, I don't want to picture myself. Then you got a bunch of women and gay people, whatever. Oh, I don't want to do that. And then you go in front of them and tell domestic violence jokes, jokes that are that typically probably the average fifteen year old might think is funny. Mm. Um. I know what you're trying to do. But you want to know something crazy? Those might be jokes that he's been telling forever. It's just that we've never seen them. Good. We've ne- we, 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 we've never seen them because everything had been... Those might be old jokes. We never, if he was we, telling those jokes the whole time, we probably would have heard it by now. Should have. Why? Because... because the, how would he he they they would have been his best jokes. It wouldn't have been his best jokes. That's why we ain't see them. Uh, Should have stayed well, that way. You know, you know, so you think he's bringing out either way? So you think he's bringing out old please. stuff for the Netflix special? You think that was a Mike, whole new set for Netflix? Mike, yeah, I got a question. Nah. He's trying to be Shane Gillis, and he's just not that. That's what he's trying yeah, to be. Sure. He's trying to be Shane Gillis, yeah. and he's not Shane Gillis. Thank you. Shane Gillis. What is your was target, able to Art? write to What's kind your of target put the target audience, Michael? My target audience. Uh huh. Whoever listened to me. You are a liar. I am? Yes. Why? So if let's just say that you 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 blew up and your only audience was old white people. I'm guess I'm telling fucking uh golden girls jokes then. No. Mike has jokes for old white people. That's the thing. I don't think you would do that. You don't no. Have, no, not not that you wouldn't do that. Don't change it. But don't change your comedy. Yeah. No, I, I'm saying if what I'm doing currently, <laughs> yeah. if that's just what they get, the crowd, <laughs> then that's going to work. Then just keep on doing just, what just you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be doing something, seeing people putting their asses in seats to see me and go, well, not these people. No, fuck, nigga, you want to fuck with me and give me money? Give me money. So mm-hmm. you, you wouldn't go, I need to try things to adhere to more of a black crowd? You, you wouldn't do that at all? No. Okay. All right. I'm not stupid. Okay. Because guess what, nigga? Their money's green. Like, are you moving like MJ? Not MJ, 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 MJ. No. I'm Republicans just, buy sneakers too. Not <laughs> even. Not, <laughs> not even that. It's just like yes, they do. Hold on. Let's let me let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. If I if I see no no no, I'll let me let backtrack. Me, let me backtrack, backtrack for mm-hmm. a second and add a caveat. If it's just old white people, sure. But if it's like Nothing but gays. No, I don't have a problem with that. He doesn't. No, I don't give. He was gonna well, go. Well, I'm a bear. You're going in the right I'm telling wing the direction. Bear trick, correct. Go, go crazy. But I'm talking about if it's people who conflict with what I believe, then yeah, we're we're doing a reset. Like if I see a bunch of alt right people in my in my shit, you see some Blue Lives Matter flag. Blue Lives Matter people like, in my oh, shit. This might this show might not go. Yeah, the way no, I we're think we're we're go. doing a reset. We need to reconfigure some things. Yeah. I'm talking about people who ideologically oppose who I am as a person. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I believe all famous people, to a point, your fan base. Mm, no, no, no. You're gonna say your fan base is a reflection, reflection of you. Yeah. To a point. certain certain celebrities. To a point. Certain celebrities. Yes. To a point. Yes. So Nikki's fan base. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> bunch of coked up crackheads. You said Nikki. <laughs> I mean, get to Nick. You're all on coke. <laughs> She's <laughs> definitely <random straight. laughs> they're definitely reflecting her because she weaponizes them. Yeah. And like encourages the behavior. Get them birds. Like yeah. somebody for somebody on the opposite spectrum, like Beyonce, they get absolutely mentally ill as well. Yeah. But she's she be trying to she be trying to tell them to stop. A little, yeah. A little, and they tell her to shut the fuck up. She's tried a little crowd control before. It just doesn't work. So <laughs> they don't listen to her. They just they they run amok. <laughs> they be like, shut the fuck up, Beyonce. We Beyonce, got this. You don't know what you're talking about. They, bite, the they literally bite the hand that feeds them. <laughs> you can't even read. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> like what the? <laughs> shut your ass. Get ready to put the movie out. We'll handle this. <laughs> Like, That's man, a funny thing. We are the visuals. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. We're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna handle this. Yeah. I got some questions for you if you're ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. First question. Hey y'all, love the pod. Blah blah blah. Question. Throughout 
all y'all years of school, did you ever have a bad relationship with any of the teachers and why? Or did you ever feel like they were targeting you? Keep up the good work. And as always, I'm not going to say that. Shut the fuck up, Keenan. No. What does it say? No, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. it's okay. Why can't I see it? Because mm-hmm. you're an animal. I'm not going to say anything, I promise. Yes, no, it's will. gone. Oh, uh, dang Aww. it, shit. Uh, yeah, I... I... <laughs> I don't have headphones on second. They spelled that out. <laughs> they spelled that, spell that out. How they spelled it? How they spelled it? Hu- Hua. Huh. Hua. <laughs> so, yeah, if you had a teacher that was uh, pretty much an op. Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Coppolino, seventh grade, eighth grade. Yeah, he was kind of an op. Ho ass nigga. Yeah, me and Mike were to the end. together. I forget her name, but it was the uh, the eighth grade and freshman Spanish teacher, the little short lady. Don't know her. The black Jamaican? No, no, not. I think yeah, not we, her. We went through this before. That was like the sophomore. The dude, like oh wait, the one who always said, "Well, that, Chicle and yeah, she, she taught Spanish. Black. Yeah, like, Spanish Jamaican. That's what I meant to say. Nope, not all Jamaicans are black. No, they're not. Shetty boy. Yeah, no, they be Chinese and shit. Yeah, but no, her, you ain't seen black cake. <laughs> her, yeah, no. I just had her eighth grade, first day of freshman year Spanish class. She was like. She, I was walking in the class. She stopped me, pulled me over to the side. I was like, we're not going to have the same thing that we had last year, are we? And I'm like, first off, I don't know what you're talking about, but you don't got to worry about coming dropping your class. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, no, we're not going to do yeah, that. That's no, the one I was always no, like, bitch, because I'm taking French. We're not French. actually going to have it. And I took French. I'm like, I'm like we're not doing I know you're talking. What is her name? I, she's the one that- I, I would have been like, no, puta. Yeah. She playing La Basura. That's the one I remember. In Puerto Rico, Yeah, I, that shit she's burns gonna, my yeah. brain. That's all I, that's all she used to say. She playing La Basura. Uh, the only teacher I really had any problems okay. with that I felt like was targeting me was Frau Wagner, the mm-hmm. German teacher. I don't even I don't know. know. She was, bro, she was just a bitch. Like the computer. Yeah, she just she she's the only teacher that made me move my desk outside into the hallway. Ooh, that is the only time that's ever happened to me. Nigga dragging it out. Too. Yeah, and I remember, I to this day I don't remember what I did. I don't know if I was talking. I don't know what happened, but she was like, "Take your desk and go in the hallway." <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck." And she was like, take your desk and go in the hallway. I'm not starting the class until you go in the hallway. Then we're going to be sitting in the- Then we just going to sit there. It's about to be a free period. I just sat out there, bro. I was like, what the fuck? And then I forget, one of the teachers came by. He's like, what did you do? I was like, I don't even know. I don't do shit to nobody. Like, I know. Your coworker's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> your coworker is yeah. an ass hat. <laughs> yeah, she was the only one that I felt like was uh, Target. seriously targeting mm-hmm. me. Like, everybody else. Yeah, no, I, don't, I don't think I ever had. Regular like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was the only one. Yeah. I had a teacher in fifth grade named Mr. Shaber. And um, so anytime I was doing work or doing something in class, I'd be humming or singing. Yeah, good, good. I just remembered another one. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> you got violent reaction. <laughs> God, because no, I hated that bitch. Whew, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Shaver, anytime I was in class working, like, you know, we're just working on stuff, I'd be humming sing, or singing or something like just to myself. All right. And he like called my mom for that. And he was like, yeah, he just won't stop humming like mm. he, he's i don't know if he's distracting the other students but he's definitely distracting me and he moved me to the back of the class and i'm like okay and he's like that sounds like, like you I need can, to tighten up <laughs> I, can, I can still hear him and he won't stop i was like i'm i don't even realize i'm doing it i'm just doing my work yes so what the fuck was 11 year old lamont humming like <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Not take Bow wow. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I like, shut the hell up! <laughs> damn, damn! <laughs> Like, ah. <laughs> no, this <laughs> what was that? Bow, wow, wow, wow. wow. Yippee, oh, yo, okay. Yippee, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Wow. I didn't get that. <laughs> Why was chewing gum in school such a like and because niggas is, upon thing? Because niggas are nasty Everybody and take the, the chew gum and put it under the desk. Shit. There's no way that's the reason why they don't want you to chew. That that has to, just that, spit it on the floor and that, that was the worst. Worse. That's the reason. Yeah. That and because you rub stupid. your hands on the desk, now you got a fucking yeah. wad of gum under your finger there. I, I think that you was got to clean And the teachers shit. have to clean it up. Yeah. Fuck them teachers. Nah. <laughs> but did any y'all ever have uh, Smith Pope? Nope. Uh, I know about her, but I never. What did she? What did she oh. teach? She was, what did she? She was an art teacher. Why had her? Sniff. Coke? She was an art teacher. Smith Pope. Sniff Coke. 
Was she bigger? No, she was a little short white lady that yeah. always wore these fucking re- uh, these fucking leopard pants. But then one day told the class, "I never wear the same outfit twice." Bitch, you wore them same pants last week. Shut up. <laughs> oh Jesus, bro. You <laughs> where did she, where did, where did, where she, she she was in the freshman building, like the first door once you walked through. Fucking bitch. Yes, yes. I had her. She's a fucking yes. bitch. Damn, I remember fucking bitch. I remember one day we were doing like <laughs> she this was little a box. Fucking cunt, we was doing like this little box. Oh eight. my Always. god. It was it, it was like you take a picture, you put a whole bunch of boxes, and each box be a different color, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm over, I'm paying, I'm paying my boxes. I'm over here doing. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so then she comes over. She's like, "Oh, well." She picks up. She's like, "Oh, that's not bad, but uh, this will look a lot better if you did this, that, and the other." And I was like, "Oh, cool, but you know, you again, know. it's art." I'm like, I. I like Art, it. Artist subject. I like it. Yep. So what she did was she took my my, my thing and threw it on the table at me. I was like, mm, bitch. And she was like, excuse me. I was like, you hurt me. You oh you yes. <laughs> <laughs> I cursed her out Keenan and cursed her out the next day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro, me and Aunt, Aunt was Whoop in your ass. <laughs> me and Aunt was in that principal office so many times because she would I, she would literally just pick and pick. I'm like, yo, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Let me do my art. Let please. me do my art, bitch, please. Okay. I'm trying to express myself. Let me glue these macaroni noodles to this fucking paper in peace, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? She bro. didn't see the vision. Yeah. Oh, my Clearly. gosh, bro. And they got the nerve to give me a fucking 99. I'm like, so bitch, you liked it too? 99. She no, liked your, just, so, I, I, She liked your. <laughs> you did all this picking to give me a 99. That's how you know this class is a joke, you fucking bitch. Oh, yeah. well, well, no, I'm a. I'm, I'm a pretty good artist. So. Talk about this class is uh, a joke. Okay, if she okay. had so many problems, why would she give you a 99? Well, she just liked your artistic integrity. Like, mm. you weren't going to waver of your vision. She was trying to challenge you. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? Challenge me with a harder project. Don't throw my work at me. Yeah, she wanted to bring the best out of you. And then she over mm-hmm. there sucking Jody's dick in the back of the classroom because Jody was the fucking art, art Magoo. Yeah, she's I'm literally like, an artist, right? Art Magoo. Art Magoo. Art Magoo. Art Magoo. Art Magoo. Art Magoo. Nah, Jody was my nigga. That's but the I'm title. Like, put, we're gonna put her name in there too. Art Jody, the Art Magoo. Magoo. Jody, the Art <laughs> Magoo. I'm gonna send it to her too. Like, yo, oh, hey, hey, Jody. <laughs> the Art I heard Magoo. The Art Magoo. <laughs> nah, Jody, she was cool. Everybody. That's yeah, the she was Jody. Cool. <laughs> But yeah, that, no, that, that, that was, was one cool teacher that, that was I was. She, was it? Uh, was she for the most artistic or some shit? Yeah, like that? yeah, yeah. Yep. Word. Shout out to her. Wasn't it you two? Shout it was out. you and Jody. That was eighth grade. <laughs> Art. The no. most acoustic. <laughs> no, most acoustic dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. <laughs> it was cool. That's crazy. <laughs> Who could we vote most? Never mind. Okay. No. no, no thank you. I'll give you some. No. No. Thank I'll give you some. No, no, we're not doing that. No, no, thank I'll you. give you some. <laughs> most awkward. <Beep. laughs> most awkward. <laughs> oh, we found I'll a cheat code. Thank first you, guys. Last name. <laughs> Next we're question. We're doing an alphabetical <laughs> order. <laughs> Ascending or descending? <laughs> Dory Kuzenberry. Yeah. Dory Kuzenberry. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> next question. <laughs> next question. Corey Strand. <laughs> only planes, only planes, only planes, only planes. <laughs> I gotta finish putting it together. The barometric pressure is approximately. <laughs> <laughs> G- give me your flight info. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. <laughs> oh, you're definitely gonna have a bumpy ride. <laughs> you know, when we was at the tailgate. Kevin brought that up, and I was crying. He was, he was like, you know, as soon as you get on the plane, Corey wants you your flight. <laughs> Nigga being his meat to the flight pattern the entire time. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. and like, oh my god, that's a seven forty seven. You're gonna be really good. <laughs> oh, that's the big plane. You're definitely gonna be <laughs> you're not gonna feel the service at all. What uh, seat are you sitting in? <laughs> yeah, you right. That's my thing. <laughs> Yo, making it this far on the pod. Wow, you made it real fast. You must have had a real tailwind. <laughs> 23B, you'll be turning ex- exactly 23 degrees to the left right now. 45 knots. 45 knots. There you go. There you go. 
Ah, I can see you. <laughs> You're speeding up and ascending. Ah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> You're no speeding way. up and ascending. No way. And then, and then he'd be like, tell me about the landing. <laughs> he's gonna be bad as uh, shit. Smooth, next week, man. Who take a flight next? He he gonna be sitting there itching not that. He'll be just mad. Probably Q. You're like, ah. Where you going next, Q? Uh, I, I'm sitting down for a little bit, bro. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's a Miss Indy. Bro, I took, I took like... Yeah, she is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was saying she... Like, we don't have to worry about Corey. It's Miss India that we have to worry about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the real good we got to yeah. worry about. Corey just appreciates the acknowledgement. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, they remember me. Miss Indy be like, that's my fucking I'm baby. I'm going to kill y'all. <laughs> that's my baby. <laughs> Right. Sorry, Miss India. Sitting the fuck down. I think it was sixteen flights in three weeks. Oh. Damn. What? Damn. Yeah, boy. you you do need never to sit down. That much That's crazy. Mm. And one of those was to Japan, right? Well, two, two, two yeah. And from yeah. There and back. Well, two, yeah. That's crazy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Sit. Sign us down. New ambassador, right? Japan. Ambassador to Japan. I will be. Yeah. Just for the Wagyu. Swear mm-hmm. to God. <laughs> Yo, whatever y'all do in life, you have to get A5 Wagyu, bro. I swear to God. It was like that. I will. Next time you go, we're going to go. We're going to go to anime convention. Butter, bro. I would have it, to enjoy it's, that. It's funny because there was a, probably smoke better. There's a One Piece uh, pop-up shop in the Tokyo airport when I was leaving. Wow. Oh. And I was like, look at this shit. Mike would love this. And I walked right back. <laughs> look at this child. <laughs> look at this bullshit. Look at this bullshit. Look at this, look at this, bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> look at this stupid ass cartoon yeah. shit. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> even, even in his hate, he thought of me. Yeah, look at that. Oh. That's how I know he likes me. Real love right there. Bullshit. <laughs> look at this bullshit. I know this nigga dumbass Mike would like this bullshit. <laughs> I know he would like this dumbass shit. I know he would like this dumbass shit. I know dumbass Mike would like this shit. Not me, though, but he's just here. There's probably something there. I can really get him. Fuck that shit. He's fucking. His pea brain would love this. I bet he would like that nigga with the big hand. What's that? Big ass dumb ass <laughs> like, Was he a balloon? <laughs> stupid. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> All right. Oh, fuck. oh shout out. Yeah, they had a uh balloon of Luffy in the uh the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Day parade. I was like, oh shit, that was what? Yo, did y'all see that big ass Santa Claus blow up that randomly went up in the middle of the tailgate? Yeah. yeah, that was like at the end. No. It, was, it was huge, bro. No, I see it. it was it was probably that honestly was, it was probably so big you didn't even notice it. Like it was a a huge sand. That shit had to like be twenty six tall. Probably, probably more like forty. Yeah, that shit was huge. But the wind there. was blowing it, so it was like tilted over. Yeah. But Q that. said it, he was like, "Yo, what the fuck is that? Huge, bro! Like if <laughs> in front of the DJ booth, it was yeah. that way. If you're looking straight, ditch. it looked mm-hmm. crazy. That shit was massive. Yeah, I don't know where that. Oh, shit came real from. quick, did anybody see anybody do a, the table thing? Nah, nah, I, I nah heard, somebody, somebody did. Heard we missed it. it. Yeah, somebody said they heard it. Damn, bro, I think the rain fucked it up. But back. yeah, the rain probably. Fucked I it. swear, I would have been. Man, if I was healthy, bro, I would have did it. I don't mm. know. Fuck. <sighs> next time, next, next time, year, next year, next, next Bills tail next year. Well, that'll be in Buffalo. Though. No, I ain't. If you think I'm going to Buffalo, yes, yeah, that's, there, that's yeah, that's very. The uh, shit. What was his name? The guy that came. I'm sorry that, but listener. He, yeah, he was like he I'm went to tailgate there. and. In Buffalo, mm. Jonathan, and he yeah. was like, he was like, yeah, like it was snowing, and like I would, I'm like, I, I, I would have went home, I would have sold my ticket and went. Yeah, I'm Buffalo's, not sitting in the snow watching football. Buffalo snow is crazy. No, I, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, that's fucking insane. Hell yeah, no. Shout out to all the people that actually stayed there in the season, watched that game because I, 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 I would yeah. get shot. Kev is a. It was worth it if, if you're Eagles fan. I it was worth would it. never. Yeah, it was a good game. If you're that was that was it probably was one of the better game. games of the season for real. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I understand. That, that shit was crazy. <laughs> Kev was too busy over there sh- shotgunning fucking fireball. No, that nigga said he shot said it was rough for him to sit through it. I'm sure. It I'm was. sure it was. Yeah, yeah he had them. And, well, he was just coming off a flight too. Uh, yeah, like he was just in before. Kansas City, and also he wasn't at the game with friends. Like he it was like a mm-hmm. thing for a him. Work so was, yeah, like a work related thing. <laughs> so he couldn't really unleash. Yeah, he the couldn't swag. turn up the way he wanted to. Oh yeah, yeah. he, he yeah, was like, yeah, I yeah. invited my coworkers and all showed up. <laughs> so I gotta go over. <laughs> I'm like, go show face. <laughs> we were like, are they showing up? He said, absolutely, they're coming. I was like, damn. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah. I guess <laughs> show face. It's okay. Yeah. It's nothing worse than inviting somebody to something and that you come and that you didn't want them to come, but they really come. Like you, motherfucker, you got God, shit to do. Damn it, you really don't have anything else to do. I mean, <laughs> when it's the Eagles game, I assume <laughs> like you made this a priority. God damn, it's raining. <laughs> Listen, How, what other deterrence do you need? <laughs> deterrence. <Yeah>. Fuck. <laughs> All right, next question. Next question. <laughs> How far up do bald people go when washing their face? Uh, I feel like you have to do the whole thing. Just wash your head. You gotta do the whole thing. Just Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Just, just it's well. a whole shebang Imagine. at that point. So you don't they don't stop like where my hairline used to be? 
They don't. No, it's all skin now. But I mean, they're just washing their face in the morning. They're washing their whole head in the sink. Oh, uh, that's okay. Crazy. Okay, the, okay. <laughs> I guess it would stop where the suggestion of where their hairline once was. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, yeah, you still got a forehead. You know what I'm saying? So you probably just stop. I think there. a exactly. guideline is just do a natural salute wherever yeah. you, wherever you <laughs> do <laughs> here. All right, that's where you, wherever you're there <laughs> down, down. So is, before every is face, face wash, <laughs> so just if, like bald, newly bald people. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And Hair loss, salute. older people, chemo patients. If you just like do this right here, yeah, down. Got <laughs> okay, Mike. That's funny. <laughs> Okay. Um, should women bring back the mountain trail? The fuck does that mean? Wait, what was the question? What does that mean? What is that? Isn't it called a landing strip? Ask it one more time. Is that the same thing? Should women that went bring away? back the mountain trail? That went away? Mountain trail? Is the mountain trail so. different from a landing strip? Because, I mean, I don't know what a mountain trail is. Are they talking about, like, the... I think they might be talking about the... All the way up? All the way up. Oh no! Why's it going up there? Like, cause you, from the like pub area to the belly button to, I think that's the thing. How far? Or the hat? What was it called? A happy trail? Happy trail. God damn it! I don't even see it. I can't even. That's not even a Google thing. Yes, yeah, uh, they just making shit up. But I assume they were talking about it's like the act of lying on your back and from the belly button down. Belly button down is well, sick. Hold on, hold on, that is actually, that's, 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 that's a Go stomach back. mohawk. What? Disgusting. The, the, no, that is that is not what they're talking about. Yeah, there's, there's, that is, there's no possible way. Nah, no. I mean, well, that's you, Rocky Mountain River Trail. Yeah, <laughs> nah. If you just either you either you bald or you just got a little little. We're gonna go off drunk. the assumption that the mountain trail is uh, from like the belly button mm-hmm. down to the pubic area. I'm gonna need you to stop starting at your sternum going down. I said right here. You, your hand started. Oh, right. I did. <laughs> I'm like, why the fuck? Because you, you I'm thinking of the man's version. Yeah, I'm like, why is it the why? typical male's version where it starts all the way? People do that. Why she got hairy titties? Men do that. Just strip all the way down. I yeah. don't know anyone who has that. Well, just like their hair just oh, grows that like, way. I'm sure. Like, yeah. Not that I'm sure there's somebody that that's done. It's grows. So weird. I'm just sure there. Just a line. Just, just nah. Line. The, for them to just manipulate and the cut avatar it that way. And cut <laughs> it down. I, 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 I was gonna say, especially people that do the, the avatar shit. Go, yeah. Nah, that's somebody's sick. definitely done it. You're a sicko. Somebody's mm-hmm. done it. <laughs> well, there's plenty of dudes where the hair just naturally grows in that fashion. Yeah. Um, but I would hate to be like that hairy. Yeah, I wouldn't want. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. Mm-hmm. Sounds like an inconvenience more than anything. Very much, so. very much so. Yeah, I don't know. Now, nah, if you if you don't do it, either no. you bald or you got a little. No, it should not. It should there, not come it? back. No. Yeah, under no circumstance. And this is somebody I don't mind hair in the pubic area at all. I really don't. I'm grown, but yeah. but like when you start like attaching it to other parts of your body, Mm-mm. we we need to no no. no. Okay. If it, as, uh, as one as my fo- as Jalen Hurst would say, keep the main thing the main thing. Yeah. Okay. And the main thing <laughs> is the Gucci hair. What if you was with a a, a new John and you know she dropped a child and she had it braided? No, that's I'm done. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who it is. Why you got Why you got your shit plaited? Yeah. What the fuck are you fucking uh, Keenan from Good uh, she a, from Good Burger? <laughs> she has a barrette in there. <laughs> got a seashell. One barrette. A <laughs> seashell. Yeah. Please no. Yeah, look- <laughs> Yeah. Nah, I'm out of there. Yeah. I don't give. I, I I don't care how bad she is. That's, that's that's nah, bro. So if Rihanna had a seashell coochie hair, okay. it has to be Rihanna. Okay. Or Shanti. I'd braid my beard in it and be combined. <laughs> <laughs> now we stuck together. Yeah, we're stuck we're together. Fused together. We are one. Together we, forever. We together. are fused. <laughs> together forever. Together forever. Together forever. Tight like a buyola. Tight like coochie. <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay. I definitely that. like definitely crochet my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I'm for not mad sh- at it. For no. sure. Yeah. I mean that bitch like an African bitch. <laughs> <sighs> okay, next question. Would you rather have no eyelids or no lips? <laughs> <laughs> No eyelids. <laughs> you sure about that? Now nah, I have a question. I can wear goggles. <laughs> no eyelids. Yeah, to, I'll just to wear, protect I will wear green dark ass sunglasses. I will be Stevie Wonder for the rest of my life. Yeah, it's sunglasses nonstop. Yeah. Now, when you say no lips, are you saying like white people no lips or lay just? You just have an it's opening just, in it's your just face. Opening yeah, the clothes. Like you got my ribs raw. 
I assume you could just wear a mask. If we're going no lips, like your mouth doesn't all close all the way, and then we go no eyes. Cutting a chunk off so and you're right there. So oh, your so mouth is still fully no closed. Yeah, there's no filler. It's just, uh, this is very thin. It's like touching. You no. Know? Oh, you got they, paper thin lips. Yeah. I might have to go with that because no eyelids. You gotta use eye drops all day. Oh yeah, you can't blink. I mean, the body won't make a way to make my. Oh, eyes you're right. Blink. You're right. You're right. Oh, you're, you're right. You'll blinking. Just be crying constantly. You're right. I change it to lips. Yeah, I guess. I'll no go eyelids is insane. Forgot about the blinking aspect. The motherfuckers that sleep with their eyes open just. Well, that's that's different. <laughs> that, and that's, that's what different. you had to be. You, you put, them, nigga, put them all on a the farm somewhere. They thought he was sleeping, trying to rob them. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you say, and put them back on. <laughs> yeah, the pain was like, get in bed with him. Yeah. Get, <laughs> get, get, get closer. Like, put your arm around him. <laughs> Hello, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that's my movie. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Now that you guys make content, does it change how you consume content? Nah, because we don't make enough of it. <laughs> <laughs> or no, it, I mean, oh, I would say no. It how I it, consume it, content, it, it, it definitely it doesn't change. It doesn't change. It makes me appreciate more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was yeah. like, damn. I, I'll be looking at some videos. I'm like, damn. It probably took or like mm -hmm. took a long time to probably edit that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I always <laughs> thought that though. I always had like some type of respect for like you know what people do behind the scenes. Like once I joined in, like I really didn't listen to podcasts. I I really didn't start listening to podcasts. So I was joined this podcast, mm. so then I was like started listening to other podcasts. I'm like, you yeah, know, this is actually very ass. We actually got something here because I don't that that right there that ain't it. Mm -hmm. that ain't That's it. true too. Listen to yeah, you're more critical of other there pods. Be some bad Johns out there. And then, like, watching how people, like, chop up what they have to, like, make the clips. Mm -hmm. I, I, I tell them all the time, like, bro, I don't know how the fuck you do this shit. Like, I've tried so many occasions. Phenom phenomenal work. <laughs> so many occasions. It's just, it just don't work. I think I made one clip myself ever, and I, it never even came out. The only clipping I did was for the, the fucking Manscaped uh, shit yeah. I did. And that was a, you guys did a good job with that. That was okay, but you, like, like the like way you, you be snapping. zooming in and the, like yeah. you, the timing and your shit be like ah yeah, yeah. content. It's great. like he's the cameraman from the office, pretty much. So I just make what I want to see. And that's it. Yeah, hey, he's like Obama in the in the White House, controlling the drones. He's just <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing children <laughs> from my house. Hey, what, what he wants to see is. Syrians with Syria with no children. <laughs> okay, next question. That was for army. <laughs> the army don't never let nobody forget. Him. He's like, you know, Obama. The black guy was bad too. <laughs> you know, Obama killed all those kids, right? <laughs> never forget. Right, river toxic nigga. <laughs> so, I thought we, I thought we were, I thought we were planning the Miami trip. Yeah, but Obama killed all those kids. Yeah. I can't plan it because the dang kids, because <laughs> the dang kids. <laughs> Kids are still dead. <laughs> no kid. way. They're not coming back. That's about to be Matt Rice's next joke. Mm. Somebody warned you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, another podcast question. What's the easiest and hardest part of potting? That was probably the same person. Oh. Uh. Easiest. I'm I'm gonna say. <laughs> I think the easiest part is just Once for us is doing it. Yeah, doing, yeah, it. doing <laughs> it is the easiest part. The hardest part is just everything, everything else. else. Everything else, post production. Mm -hmm. Everything else. Oh, there was one. Where'd that cougar? I don't know if I said this cougar one before. I might have accidentally deleted it. Let's see. Not a question, but I'm into cougars now. There's a question at the end. But I'm into cougars now at the time of sending this. And I'm only on my third time interacting with them, and I'm only 22. A week ago, I went to the bank to deposit a check, and a lady was in front of me, kept staring at me for almost five minutes, asked her in a flirting manner, you must like what you see back here. She told me, you're a baby. You won't know what to do with all this. I leaned over and whispered to her, what? This isn't a real situation. This does not. <laughs> I leaned over and whispered to her, I'll put it in your chest like a stocking pass i seen her 
<laughs> I seen her. I like her. When she got out of line, she waited for me outside. We exchanged numbers, and later on that night, I laid the hammer down like John Henry. Was this Quan Mills? <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> is Quan going on? on? Stockton Pass. Stocking pass, stocking or Stockton? It says stocking. It must have been. A, it must have been a stocking, Stockton pass. I'm think. I'm thinking. Thinking about John. A John Stockton, Stockton chest pass. pass. Oh, a, okay. Yeah, that I, makes yeah, more. Sense. Had to be that. Oh yeah, well, yeah lay down the yeah, ha- hammer like John Henry. Haven't seen or spoken to her <laughs> in a week <laughs> <laughs> until today. What do you think? <laughs> Keenan had the wheel and spinning wheel yeah, yeah, the, the, the like color wheel and just spinning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. I... <laughs> So she texted him and said round two. I say, uh, sure, my boy. I'm Good I'm fine. I, I I don't know who you are, and I hope I don't. I'm not calling you a liar. I just find this hard to believe. I am because you're 22 years old. You're a liar. Send us I'm, proof. I mean, I'm sure that happens. It happens. I ain't gotta lie. Take yeah. a video next time you yeah, with her. Send it. What you saying? Go NTS in the background. Yeah, right. And hold yeah. a spoon with the date on it. <laughs> <laughs> the date on the spoon On the spoon have, have, You can't mm. fake that Send a video of you Having sex with her While listening to episode 55 <laughs> <laughs> Is that still available? <laughs> O3 Buick Yeah specifically O3 Buick Just go yeah. listen to that one We'll know it when we hear it mm-hmm. Hit it with no condom Listening to condom justice Jesus mm. Yeah I don't, I don't I don't Was that What was the question? There was no question. He oh, just wanted to tell it. He the wanted to was, brag. That this is what even be- makes me believe more yeah. that this isn't real. The question was. He just said, "I gotta tell somebody this fake story." Round two. I gotta tell. Is he is he gonna what's do your, round two? What's your question? That should you do it again? Of course. What the fuck kind of nigga? Yeah, do it again. Yeah, get that pussy. If it's if it's real. If it's real. Yeah, hit that fictional pussy one more time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh yeah. I imagine this feels so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh baby, oh baby, exactly oh baby. <laughs> Over the type of this year, you like that. And then when you wake up, do your left hand next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to do the ghost. You got to sit on both your hands and then pick one. Mm. <laughs> do any mini mighty mo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Michael, the big one, definitely sound like uh, Boondocks episode of Medea while reading. <laughs> definitely got to finish this book. Are we oh yeah, we gotta get past the first chapter. Yeah, we do. Mm. Oh. Ooh wee. Mm. I don't think there's what's something that smells horrible but tastes good? Example, white pepper. White I don't pepper. I don't know if white, white pepper tastes good. It smells horrible it's but good tastes season, good. But. I mean, smell has a lot to do with what I eat, so it's hard to I say pad thai sometimes. Cause the fish I don't know if you guys have smelled fish sauce. Mm-mm. It smells like stinky old socks like if you go into a thai restaurant and it smells like almost like feet that's probably from the fish sauce mm, I never smelled it. yeah i'm gonna say probably like collard greens like mm. and sitting in the fridge the day after you're gonna warm up you open up that bag just <laughs> <laughs> warm these oh good heavens <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> oh not at all boy like, yeah you gotta warm them shits up quick because that, that when you open up that ziploc bag and that air get out of there <laughs> Mm. Like a ten pack. Well, great heavens! <laughs> Good heavens! Mm. Who's the most iconic black character in video games? And in video games, mm-hmm. black character, Jax. Jax. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. For more combat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. LeBron. LeBron. <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> LeBron. Hey, LeBron. <laughs> Michael Vick. <laughs> <laughs> 05 Mike Vick <laughs> Ray Lewis when he was on the cover of Madden mm-hmm. 03 Allen Iverson <laughs> Do we count Knuckles? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah He's an honorary mention That's a nigga yeah. That is a Negroidian mm-hmm. Damn that's a shame What? It's not a lot of black like game characters I mean I'm sure you At can. least iconic ones Who else can we think of? There's that one nigga from, from Call of Duty Man, <laughs> that's about it, though. Black mm. video game characters. <laughs> if I send you this, I'm in- <laughs> Balrog from Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you scrolling, Mike? Yeah, it's bad. Uh, it's okay. We got LeBron, <laughs> mm-hmm. LeBron and Jax. So y'all gonna keep listening to Bad Boy Diddy Dirty Money? Mm-hmm. And all the other Diddy songs. 
High school, oh, we're so. tripping. Carl Johnson. Who? From San Andreas. CJ? CJ? No. Like, who the fuck, fuck calls him Carl, Carl Johnson? Johnson. Johnson. Carl it, it, Johnson. Who the hell calls him Carl in the Johnson? Johnson? It said Carl Johnson. Yeah, there we go. CJ. Might as well All right. Franklin okay. in there as well, too. Sure. Frankly, yeah, Franklin, yeah, Franklin, too. Also, Barrett from Final Fantasy VII. Nobody. What, Mike? <laughs> He's like, who the fuck is that? Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> what the hell are you Final talking Fantasy about? Seven. The nigga Paul Rapper, the rapper. rapper. Fucking Paul Rapper. 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 Oh. rapper. Uh, Even though I think he might have been Asian. Eddie from Tekken. Ooh, he's Brazilian. He's Brazilian. We'll count. No, no he's black we'll, Brazilian. Afro Brazilian. Yeah, we'll yeah. take that. Mm-hmm. Da- no, he's Indian. I want to learn how to. What are you about to say? Ooh, oh, Dawson. 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 <laughs> Yoga Flame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Next question. Yeah. Somebody said correction officers are a top five unwifeable occupation. What are the other four? I believe that because who? nurses because I know I a lot of great nurses. officers who are crazy niggas. which is funny because <laughs> hmm? huh <laughs> what'd you say <laughs> what <laughs> are you what was number one no MJ said nurses and I said ah, ah. I Un- say, unwifeable occupation yeah. why is that unwifeable nurses kindergarten teachers mm, <laughs> what else we got why they unwifeable? said nurses are sluts I see them sexy ass scrubs. I see them. I see them every <laughs> day. Ass scrubs. I don't think nurses are just little. I never heard of that. I know CNAs might be a little. Okay. Oh, uh, 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 air stewardess. Air stewardess. Air. Oh, air. Oh, flight attendant. Yeah, uh, flight attendants. No, they're holy. What are you talking about? Weirdo. Holy. They let you travel. Holier than thou. Maybe out here just spreading it. Yeah, I feel like uh, mm-hmm. if anybody, yeah, if somebody's a flight attendant. Definitely trade yeah. lightly because they could have a family in fucking Colombia. You would never know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, got another tr- ten day trip to Colombia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll be back later. <laughs> See you next month. Don't wait on me. Feed the dogs. I think probably like uh, what was the what was the one that was in the, in the question? Correction officers. Definitely. Uh, oh yeah. Woof. Yeah. I would say people like like uh, hairstylists. Mm. Hairstyles, my hairstyle. What braiding niggas' hairs and shit. Hair braiders. Yeah. <laughs> you got braiders. nigga between your legs every day. Mm-hmm. Bitch, you think I'm fucking stupid? You fucking bitch. I ain't got money this time, but I do got something for you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we find what? another form? That's of, what you would do if you had form of payment. <laughs> I don't got any money this month, but yeah, I ain't got it. If, you know, I can I do can a pay, couple I can things. Either, I can either pay you back in two weeks, well, or I can give you something shots. right now. <laughs> Choices so good. What, what you trying to do? I'm trying to no good. Ah, uh, for real, for, for real. real. <laughs> I got I'm a light skinny. I can help you. <laughs> I get all the hops. That was one of their best kids. Bro. Yeah. I smell like bitch to you. Oh, I smell like bitch to me. That and the joke. How did buddy. that show even get even? <laughs> Why you got so many necklaces? I got so much necklace. You gonna give me a birthday present on my birthday? You on my birthday party? On my no, birthday? He said, like, like, "I thought I was gonna be reverse. I want my money, nigga." <laughs> you slapping on the I want my money, <laughs> money. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, just oh, random, God. doing random stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, I got one more question, and then we'll get to the book, I guess. Uh, nah, nah, nah. What's the better sensation? Finding fries at the bottom of the bag or finding money on the ground? Depends on how much money. I'll raise yeah, you one say, Depends money. on how much money. Finding money in, 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 in laundry. Mm. Way mm. better than both. Way better than both. If you find money, even though it's still your money. Yeah. It's money that you didn't know your you had. Money you forgot. I'd rather, yeah, finding that. Finding money on the ground, I'd be feeling guilty sometimes because I'm like... Like, man, there's somebody who dropped this and probably really needs it. You know what? I think I told this. But one time after one of our Bible study sessions, <laughs> I, <laughs> you, thought, you, you thought Jesus was testing you? What? You, what? After Bible study, like you saw some money. It was like, ah. no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll finish. I uh, I had this uh, crossbody bag. Mm. And then I went back. It was months later. And I opened the bag. And I was like, where did all this money come from? Where all these ones come from? It's like, ah. Did you collect it? I remember. <laughs> I didn't give my full tithes that time. That's what happened. Oh. Ah. 
but I, I still he left came back. Over, left over, left uh, over, hmm. left over. Leftovers. I thought mm-hmm. he was about to say he he collected them. See, so just like come find a boy, like just put it in the bag. In my bag. Yeah, you gotta be quick. Yeah, sometimes you, you just say have, you want me to steal a collection plate. What? <sighs> sometimes you just have leftover tides. Mm-hmm. Happens to me uh, quite time. a few times. Yeah, every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> every time. I always go to church with a lot of ones, and I'm just like, hey, I ain't spend half of them. I went when I was in Florida two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Bitch got me so good, I started pulling out <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh damn. damn, cue a trick. Oh, what kind of sermon was she giving? What kind of sermon was this? <laughs> what? I ain't not even blind. Hey, 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 she Slapping on her ass cheeks. What huh? you look like? What kind Bad. of church you go to? What about say? <laughs> what, yeah, what church is this? Spanish John from Maryland. Mm. Oh, you got that much information? Mm, she told me a whole life story. That nigga, he oh, paid man. for it. <laughs> That's what the 20 was. Like What's an this? interrogation. I know you got this. <laughs> nah, I left all that shit in Florida. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you. Smart man. Because that would have been her way How back How much up was here. the fuck? Wow. Okay. <laughs> you mean for <laughs> in church? For, for confessional, you mean? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Private confessional. Oh man! <laughs> All right, where's your left? This nigga said twenties. I love you. Oh, 20s. I, I ain't never t- gave. I can take you out of this. I ain't never gave a usher no twenties. That's why. That's why I'm mm-hmm. cash. Never <laughs> to save yourself. We end off. Can I say my preacher never gives me yeah, such no. good sermons? <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure never gave me sermons that good. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not one to miss the word. <laughs> I try to watch these televangelists. They just don't do it like <laughs> this. <laughs> televangelists. <laughs> it's much better when you go to the house yourself. Yes. Mm-hmm. You feel the presence. You can receive the word <laughs> directly. <laughs> Straight from the vessel. <laughs> the, word, the word just rains down on you. <laughs> from right there. All right. Mm. <laughs> they can't go below the pills. <laughs> All right, we are resuming old thought next door. Nice. My favorite part. Ah, all right. With the both of them in front of me, we march straight into the li- my living room. Y'all sit down and make yourself comfortable. I calmly instructed. I'm finna go to the room. <laughs> oh yeah you already said that i'm finna go get the reefer and the henny y'all smoking right will's hazel eyes shot wide open out of shock he looked at markel is she for real (laughs) yes bruh she cool i'm telling you bruh will then looked back at me smiling saying damn hell yeah i'm smoking what you got some joints or something you already read all this i did read all of that where the fuck did i end up do this to me keenan i'm sorry i apologize where I end off? God damn! I ain't read that far, did I? Yeah, usually I end off at the end of the page, so it might be at the top of that page. I might have been the. Mm. This is what we get for skipping the week. Oh, yeah, this is what happens. Yeah. This is what happens. Should have used a bookmark. Yeah, why don't, we don't have a bookmark for this book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we'll start from right there. <laughs> Easy. Will quickly got his act together and stood still. My bad, he apologized. That's what I thought. Anyways, I'm going to go run to my room right quick and get the reefer. Y'all make yourself comfortable, I said as I spun on my high heels and sauntered down. Ooh, that's a good word. Sauntered down my hallway to my bedroom. Now, y'all might be wondering how I met Markel. Well, (laughs) let me give you the backstory. Mm. Quan Mills loves the backstory. He sure do. I met Markel actually at my fitness club, the LA Fitness right there on 47th Street, right in Kenwood. <laughs> That's the south side of Chicago. He was the personal trainer, sales manager. Funny thing, he was <laughs> he tried to run game on me and thought he was gonna get me with those expensive ass training packages. But baby, I wasn't going. Not at all. Yeah, I might be getting a nice little pension from the DMV, Social Security, and monthly 401k payments, but I'd be damned if I was going to spend no $1,200 a month for some personal... God damn. Damn. A lot a month. What the fuck? For some personal training. <laughs> Shit. I was fine just walking on the treadmill and doing my calisthenics. However, 
Markel was a little hustler, so he offered me home personal training sessions on the side. So long as I didn't run my mouth to corporate, he said he could get in trouble if they found out he was training people on the side. So I agreed. But I only agreed because I could see in Markel's eyes I could make him a victim to my good, tender pussy. <laughs> and lo and <laughs> And lo and behold, <laughs> two home training sessions later, I seduced his ass and put his this moist <laughs> seduced his ass. I seduced his ass. <laughs> put this moist pink monkey of mine on to him. Oh. Child, I had to let that young man know Miss Vernita still had that snapback. Since then, Markel had been my number one boo thing. Anyways. Now that I was back in my room, I quickly made my way over to my walk-in closet. I walked all the way down to where I kept my safe. Although I smoked reefer every day for some odd reason, I couldn't just have it all out in the open like that. Especially since that stuff was so pungent. That shit would have had my whole house smelling foul. <laughs> Once I opened my safe, this is such ridiculous detail. <laughs> <laughs> Once I opened my safe, I grabbed my favorite kind of reefer, a backwood cigar, and my lighter. I dashed over into my bed bathroom just to make sure I still looked dazzling. <laughs> now staring at myself in the mirror, I grabbed my brush off the marble bathroom countertop and lightly ran it through my silver hair. Hmm, I'm going to have to call Keisha to ha have her give me a touch-up, I com commented to myself. I then leaned close into the mirror and analyzed my makeup. My mascara, foundation, and lipstick was still on point. I looked left, glanced right. Yes, Lord, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> I chuckled, sticking my tongue out. Goodness gracious. Go on, move. Quickly, dashing out of the bathroom, I heard my cell phone buzzing as it charged on my nightstand. I froze for a moment, tempted to answer, but fuck it. Baby, I didn't have time to check it. Whoever could have been calling me at this moment was just going to have to wait because I was ready to get high, drunk, and suck some big nigga dicks. <laughs> some big dick. I can't, wait to, I can't wait to clip that. Big nigga dicks. <laughs> and I might just eat. Oh, no. <laughs> and I might. And I. And I. And I might just eat their asses today. <laughs> I was, yeah! Oh, God. I was ready to let it all go this afternoon. Ugh. I turned my nose up and sexually sauntered through my bedroom. Oh, sauntered again. With the reefer, cigars, and lighter gripped in my hand. Should have called me earlier, I snickered at whoever was calling on my celly. <laughs> I then made my way out of the bedroom, and now I was back in the hallway. Now, feet away... From the living room, I came to an abrupt stop when I saw Markel and Will were now completely naked. Oh, God. What the hell? They did the S naked man? Sitting on my nice white Italian leather. Baby, my mouth shot wide open in shock. But it wasn't them being naked. Oh, what? It wasn't them being yeah, naked that had me read stunned. It. <laughs> they were making out. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Kissing no. each other. Oh. Tongues all deep down no, in each other's throats. No, 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 no. Oh, Their eyes right. were closed. <laughs> and everything right. as, as if they were in love. All right. <laughs> and they were stroking each other's all in right. my face. <laughs> what? Yo, all okay, right. no, keep going. Keep Child, going. I was about to pass out. All no, right. What the fuck? Take me home now, Lord <laughs> Jesus. All right. What in the hell are y'all doing? I screamed at the top of my lungs oh my god and that's the chapter yep we're done <laughs> and that's the we're chapter. done that's the not that serious podcast best podcast in the world yo we love everybody the fuck? Oh god. that's what y'all freak ass niggas <laughs> get no, no, i'm no. so glad that got ruined no, no. Freak ass no, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay. that's exactly what the fuck you get okay oh nasty okay. ass niggas <laughs> yo oh uh, talk about a plot twist i was not prepared for that we and i don't help. know why because it's quan mills i should have seen it coming but what the markel and will they got something going on oh hell nah yeah guys yeah. make sure you subscribe <laughs> <laughs> make sure make sure you subscribe oh. to the youtube oh, 
Jesus. This is a Patreon. <laughs> Three, five, fifteen dollar tears. <laughs> Chip video coming on the way. <laughs> Let us know if uh, anything else you want to see us do on Patreon. Chip video, the chips. Yeah. Nah, uh, we ain't doing that one chip shit no more. Fuck. You'd that. have to actually pay me. Um, After the 100,000 uh, Patreon subscribers, then I'll do a one chip challenge again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> For 100,000 Patreon subscribers, I'll do it. Oh, 100,000 Patreon? Oh, shit. I'll do it three times. You're wild. I'll do it once. Hey. Do you know how much money that is? One per 100,000. Hey, we'll get there. Uh, so yeah, just I did the math. Make sure you uh, <laughs> listen everywhere, subscribe, go on the uh, Apple Podcast, leave a comment, leave a review, man. It helps with the numbers, so we get uh, higher seating in the uh, in the podcast ranking, so more people can see us mm-hmm. and more people can share in the love. You know, so, uh, get on the Discord, the Twitter communities, all that good stuff. Tell another friend to tell one more friend to tell one more friend again. You already know what the flim flam is going on. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Peace out.